This episode brought to you by Foreign Directors. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll give you a sequel, all right. Hey, everybody, we're watching Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and you're listening to Miscast Commentary. Die Hardier. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Where two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we are into December and it is time to discuss Christmas movies. Yep. And I'm going to just go ahead and ignore, because my, my biggest disappointment that Bruce Willis Rose came on, literally the last line he said was, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. And I was like, fuck you, I choose not to hear Whoa. that. Whoa, he and said that? He said that. Whoa, and of course it is. So, so fuck this dude, we're going to do it anyway. It takes place during Christmas. Yeah. Done. It's the only time of year to boast your like boast that you have black friends. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just, it just is, Okay. So it is. We're doing it. It was a roast. No he was just fine. He was roasting us. Oh. Inception roast. Wow. Roast within a roast. I don't need this. I can't. My psyche <clears throat> can't take it. <laughs> Freak uh, it out. Oh, uh, good God. But the uh, good the, gravy, Miss Maven. Yeah, but the good news is. We're going to do it anyways. Yeah, the good news is we don't give a shit, and it is a Christmas movie. Because we've announced it, and it's happening, and here we are. Um, so, only one thing to do, and it's not pick up my drink right now. It sure is. it is. Fuck like that. <laughs> yeah. Pressing it, play now. now. Die hard to die harder. Die hardier. They die really, hardest the, God, the cover really blows a lot of the movie, doesn't it? Yeah. It blows the like he's sweater. looking he's looking over his shoulder mm-hmm. when that happens you're like giant wow, exploding done. plane yeah done but that's all right a lot of collateral damage in this one a lot of innocent deaths mm-hmm. you don't see them but they're there oh yeah you, you feel them i'm i like sometimes you're just like you know you're doing something and you're like i feel like a lot of people just died that's good news. <laughs> Die Hard 2. They They're not that. cutting around. No fucking beating around the bush here. There's Boom, no, Die Hard 2. There's no slow build credits and there's no cold open. It's just, this I'm, is the name of the movie, go! I am sometimes worried during the beginning of films that I went into the wrong theater. Mm-hmm. So for it to tell me, boom, right like that, like I'm like, good, now I can enjoy the film and not worry. Is, is it just me or does every cop, regardless of race, the exact same person in Die Hard movies? Yeah, exactly. It's like this guy and Reggie Vel- Reginald Vell Johnson and Dennis Franz are all the same. Dude. They are the same man. Not for nothing. I just want a friggin' donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the, uh, You tell me this isn't a Christmas movie. Look at all that fake snow flying around. Oh, good God. And um, Rennie Harlan was run, like running on all cylinders when this came out because also around this time Ford Fairlane came out. That was a Rennie Harlan movie? Yeah, it was. Oh, man. This man makes so, the best movies ever. Just, we should look up his uh, his uh, discography. Okay, we could do that. That's like bad. my God, <laughs> what, what what long kiss good night, Cutthroat Island, this um, yeah. Um, what other you sequel? just said? Uh, Ford Cliff, Fairlane, Cliffhanger. Oh, Cliffhanger, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a straight up awesome movie. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Okay, one. there's one for you. Yeah, Rennie. although although this is the one he's considered known best for. Oh, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea was Rennie Harlan. Yeah. Whoa. A Johnny Knoxville a, movie, Skip oh Trace. God. Oh, I gotta. We're gonna look. Up How long has it been since the man I'm, made? I'm anything. listing every goddamn movie he's ever done. <laughs> uh, he did what? He did a couple this year, actually. He did Legend of the A Ancient few Sword of this Bo- year. Yeah, exactly. He's knocked out a couple. Um, let's go all the way back because I'm still going. He did one called Born American, which is fun. Oh, I forgot. He was he directed oh my he directed God. our favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. He the directed Dream Night- Master. Nightmare on Elm Street. He's a sequel. He's a master of the sequel. Yeah, so then Die Hard 2 and Ford Fairlane came out, then Cliffhanger. 
uh, Cutthroat Island, Long Kiss Goodnight. Long Kiss Goodnight has one of my favorite lines. He's talking about, she mentions about biting, like the biting a girl's ear before deflowering her. And then, uh, uh, Sam Jackson goes, I just punch her in the mouth and pop goes the weasel. <laughs> Here's a little oh, bit here of it is. naked William the Sadler. Naked morning kick yoga. Uh, you know, Not this guy intense. from everything. One of our movies, of course, was, um, uh, demon Look Knight. at oh, that! Yeah, sweet buns. I'm oh, I think lie. I saw some ball hang down. There's definitely you. Saw I saw a little bit of. You definitely saw ball. Do it. <laughs> this is always how I watch the news. Up. This is how I watch the news at all times. Yeah, intensely uh, kicking, staring at myself in the mirror. Yeah, uh, this Kick. actually uh, I used hmm. to do this. Yeah, no, no word of a lie. I was much younger. He looks like he's always tucking his dick in. I think you mentioned that before. Yeah, <laughs> but I just, Come I honestly now. don't remember this scene because I think I've only. That's ever seen all I remember. It. I, I'm almost positive I've only ever seen this movie on Boom. television. Ooh, he's a quick draw artist. Um, Jesus, there ain't nothing wrong with being a quick draw. In and out, girl. I got shit to do. Okay, so we have so many more Rennie Harlan movies to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Driven the uh, Driven the indie. Uh, car the, or the Formula One, right. starring uh, Sylvester Stallone, Mind Hunters. Oh yeah, the F. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, what a movie! Yeah. Exorcist: The Beginning, The Covenant, oh. uh, Cleaner, Twelve Rounds, uh, Five Days of War. He did four episodes of Burn Notice. Nice. So this is when things got weird. Well, he did an episode of Covert Affairs. They shot that like around my around my work. No. So he Randy made... Harlan was near there. Oh my God, I saw. Who else is in Oh, this? yeah, Skip he did Trace. The Legend of Hercules with uh, Kellen Lutz. Oh, is that that one? Jackie Chan. Oh, Skip Trace is a Jackie Chan Johnny Knoxville movie, so oh, I really, I really undersold that shit. What uh, a team up. Yeah, I'm all over that. That's all good. I'm a fan of Johnny Knoxville's movie career. I love Johnny. Johnny Knoxville just gets away with whatever. Oh, look at, how, look at how in love they are now I after know. the events of the first one. See, to me, that's the thing I never understood is they're happy in this one. Then he's like, they're unhappy. And it's like, I honestly think that they thought the reason that this movie didn't work as well was because they loved each they other. They were, they're in love. But like the whole goal of this one is them trying to get to each other. Like, yeah. That's why she has stakes on the plane other than just watching him go through shit right well yeah she's up there like there's stuff going on down there blah 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 and they would just be her reacting every couple of minutes but instead they gave her something to like work towards <clears throat> and you and, know it gives him more of a motivation too mm-hmm. not like he needed it not like john mcclain needed it. a fucking reason to blast a piece of shit justice that's all he needed bonnie bedelia is hotter than i give her credit for i her. agree she's i got absolutely like this, agree she's got that kind of look of like the boss that you wish would harass you oh sexually she like takes oh, you into the room oh, and yeah. she's like yeah i'm about ready to give you so uh, it doesn't work your, the other way your it, your it, anal it, exam i'm like wow that was early it does I thought that was three months yeah. Let, let's be clear it, it like the harassment goes both ways it's just that look at this look she's ready she's reading like lethal weapon the book or something i, I want to read look like see she's a rapist yeah. that should be a thing how i get him we just occasionally read like novelizations of random books. I've read two novelizations of movies in my life. I right. said novelizations of books, and I understand that. Right, yeah, yeah. But we're just going to yeah, yeah. blow right, right I know past you meant, it. I know you meant. Um, but yeah, I read, oh, I read, chance meeting. I've read two novelizations of movies in my life, and they're the most innocuous. Like, you would never guess what they were and all that. Like Green Lantern. Okay, and, Green, and well, the uh, novelization of Green Lantern would yeah. be the comic book. No, 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 it's no. the movie turned okay. into a novel. Nice. I read so the it comic says Ryan version. Reynolds says. Oh, okay. You know, like that. And what would you guess the other one to be? I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh, yeah. Tremors three. Your movie to book adaptation. I, I'm I'm legit, Return to perfection. I'm legitimately scared you're gonna judge me when I say what oh, they are. Oh God. Um, Karate Kid three. Oh my lord. Oh wait, no, there's three. Karate Kid 3, In the Line of Fire. Oh, that's all right. That one was all right. And I was kind of like, it felt like it was a book before, and it may have been. I don't know. I think In the Line of Fire was. But, uh, that's weird from it's go to a book to a movie and then turn the movie into another yeah. book. Well, I think it probably just re released the Based book with on the, the, with first the movie book. cover. But, and and maybe then, some pictures of Clint swint, sweating it out in the sun in the middle. Let me grab my pistol. couple of movies. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. That's the best Clint Eastwood mm-hmm. I've ever heard. I'm great at it. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off my plane. Oh, I, know that's I don't him, think these guys are... Uh, hey, that guy's in a lot of shit. Yeah, but anyways, the other one, the other novelization I read was Ghostbusters 2. Nice. The, the no, good not nice. My lord. Oh, it was... Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I can't even explain I, to you uh, what... I've read some as well. Yeah. Uh, one of them that I read was Doom. 
starring the rock and carl urban now that was a that was a book based on a movie let me tell you brother you could hear Ooh. carl urban like you could hear his character holding literally back his 112 pages just said blam 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 crap 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 blah 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 yeah you could tell that this was first person yeah. shot. Oh yeah, it was like a first person novel. Oh. Look at the blood spraying out of this innocent piece of shit. I love when the Let clergy go. gets murdered. Cocaine smuggling. Mm. Ugh. I always love like they never have the their guys like Mr. The, Futterman. Yeah, pretty much, eh? <laughs> no, but they never have these guys like look innocent like you just look at them and it's like uh, it's like hey there guys who would be like a two week long tag team in the day had a bad day the electric company today yeah it's like it's the electrical boys and they come out and they just like disturb the hell and then the rockers beat them up and then it's all over that's one heck of an eyebrow you got there bud look at that hat that guy made a choice (laughs) <laughs> that, guy, that, that was guy. his actor choice. Yeah, look at all. Oh, look at Randy's like, are you really good? He's like, yeah. My character would wear this. It's the winter time. <laughs> and Randy's like, well, I can't argue with that. Yeah, but when I was looking into it, William Sadler wears nothing. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, well, that's at all times. Oh, uh, here they are. There's um. Could Vondi, they be any more evil? Vondi Curtis Hall. Uh, well, he was well, Chicago Hope, most recently in Daredevil. And, the uh, television show. And the yeah, and Defenders. He's the, uh... No, he was in... No, he wasn't. I was going to say he was in Luke Cage, but he wasn't. No, he wasn't in Luke Cage. Is Luke Cage 2 out? Uh, Luke Luke Cage 2 has been out for a long time. Way back here. Is that any good? Luke Cage 2 was fine. Um, But Iron Fist 2, did you watch uh, Iron Fist 2? Iron Fist 2 was actually a lot better than the first season, and then they canceled it. Huh. Like they made all the improvements. Like halfway they through an better, episode, they have better fighting. Well, no, they got through the whole like the, the whole seasons there, but they're like we're not making another. Season. Look at them smoking indoors at the airport. Uh, Holy fuck! I was that Whoa. still blows me away because I like people don't always understand. Like in Canada, there's no smoking anywhere. Um, a lot of the states, there's no smoking in play buildings like this or like government buildings, things like that. But when you go to Vegas. There's smoking and like there's a designated smoking area. There's a bunch in the airport. There's a bunch of slot machines, right? And it's a big walled in area. Carrie said the first time she went to Vegas, there was smoking everywhere, and the big the whole airport was just a big smoke pit. Yeah. Oh god. And um, How gross is oh, that? It was so gross. But then now there's a designated smoking area, and it looked like a hot box. Like you could see the smoke moving around in the room. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I need to go. And like, like I stood in front of the door, and it opened, and you could just see it like slowly start to come out, and you're, it's <laughs> that asshole again. Ooh. Oh yeah, of course it is. It's hey. say what. It's guy who's not like quite the dude from The Crow, not quite, uh, <laughs> not quite Danny DeVito. <laughs> He's just not quite anybody, is he? Yeah, exactly. Uh, poor guy. These fuckers. Gonna... Like the, I like the trenches though. Like we could wear matching coats like that. Look at these two guys. I would, I wouldn't mind that, but I don't want to wear. You're telling me about your matching jackets, guys. She's like, what am I doing here? Nobody wants. Yeah. What am I doing? Fashion at the airport. <laughs> what the hell? Wait a minute, isn't that Russian so-and-so? Looks like Tim Heidecker, in the, uh, who was the cameraman. Look at his skeletal face. Mm-hmm. He well, looks that's like why he, he could... plays the Crypt Keeper with no makeup. Yeah. Well, that's why he played Death so well. His bone structure is out of this world. He does. Head, right? <laughs> but am I wrong? I'm not wrong. You are not wrong. That is an out-of-this-world bone structure. <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> I fucking hate the airport. I was just saying before, like I like I like traveling and stuff, but like, like I like get being at the destination, but it's just it's always such a fucking hassle I see, with your I luggage in the airport, and it was just like, bleh. See, I don't mind as long as I don't have too much time to kill. But the problem is, I'm that kind. Ki- I'm that guy who's like, we got to be there super early because I don't want to get stuck in like the security lineup and then be racing to get. There. And then you're there for five. So hours. we're there for like. So I try to get there like three hours early, and then like you're sitting there, and we did that um, for our last flight, which was really early in the morning, and we were just like wandering around, and I'm like, hey, let's go look at that like Best Buy vending machine again, and look at their hand. Best Buy vending. <laughs> It is. That's that we're not it is. going to get. There's, There's a like, lot of places, man. You just need to drink. Check out this if you drink alcohol, yeah. you always have something to do. Mm-hmm. I had the worst. You egg always Mc... have something, you know. Yeah, I had the worst egg McMuffin <clears throat> of my life. It wasn't a McDonald's. It was like just this place that are like we make a breakfast sandwich, oh, yeah. but they did eggs and bacon on a raw um, like muffin. They didn't toast it, so it's like if you've ever had a uh, 
an uh, like an English muffin, not toasted, all you feel is just like <clears throat> cornmeal working its way oh, yeah. out of the, your mouth, and it's just the oh yeah, that's everywhere. He's For somebody of... with teeth like mine, man, woo! You take one bite and it's, a, it's you're flossing for four days. If if you are if this is a post nine eleven world, this guy would have been shot in the chest so fifty times wh- just what, by trying to get through the door to this room. What tipped him off here? Like what? What did he see that? He just saw two people kind of like with furtive glances go through a door. Furtive glances. Mm, That's the old shifty Oh, answer. yeah. Furtive so, glances. I like that. Eh? Word of the day. No no word of a lie. Yesterday, I listened, I heard somebody say the, say that term. I was like, I got to work that in somewhere. <laughs> in my life. Yeah. I Somehow. Was, I was like, I was like, that's a good, like, I've used it before, but I was like, I've got to, I don't know. I was just going to work that back in. It's a good term. So, oh, they're, they're trying to give me that. Just don't even try, guys. They just start instantaneously shooting at him. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? No, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah. No. Just boom, 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 boom. You're dead. It's like, and when they're, they're not, nobody's going to notice the, the shootout that's taking place. Mm-hmm. Like, you would expect some special ops people to be able to be a little undercover. So, you yeah, know, oh, we're inspectors or some, something. Terrible it's shots. All of them. I watch a lot of uh, border security at work, and this shit would not fly. <laughs> they, would not, they would not have. Corey Feldman's back there shooting around again. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck! I remember watching Border Security. And, uh, the dog pound was on it. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember they that. They were doing a yes. show like in Vancouver or something. Yeah, and they, and they were... just kept saying how um, he's Snoop Dogg's cousin. This guy's yeah. Snoop Dogg's cousin. And uh, yeah, they, uh, what was it? Yeah, you said the Corey Feldman one. I just saw one recently that had Fred Penner. Nice. That was pretty good. They found tons of drugs it's in his sad, anus. Sad though, because I stunt guy city. Yeah, like look at this. In my brain. I think that Fred Penner's a giant star. And right. he's not. Like it's just no. it was literally just him getting on a plane with his guitar like a near homeless person. Like a near Oh Holy Frank. That was a good shot. But that I would have shot him. close. I, I probably would have shot him in the face or <clears throat> chest or something. But he tells his friend he's being beaten. See, I told you I was a good shot. <laughs> like he could have killed him, but instead yeah. he chose to hot dog it. Yeah. You you say you temporarily yeah. saved my life. Oh, Vondi Curtis. Oh, uh, you deserve uh, so much better. This he basically guy? Play, no, this is Vondi no, Curtis? No, the black guy. Oh, he's dead? Do you remember when I pointed out the black guy being Vondi Curtis Hall earlier? I thought you meant this guy. Saying, no. Because then you uh, started saying he was on Luke Cage and stuff, and I was like, I don't know. I oh, that. man. This is like stunt guy face the movie. <laughs> oh, nobody survives the when they heat up the luggage. To yeah, make sure that like. it like. That looked like the end like, of Toy Story Yeah, 3. they're going into like a big furnace. This is when they say they lost your luggage. They just burned it yeah. just to be mean. Yeah. Like, look at this thing. Why is it? We got. What cr- is with this crush roller? Like, like clearly something shouldn't go through there. Like a like a body, or even that big bag there. There. Oh my god! I feel like he would just get smushed down into the luggage. Like it's not like it was like a rock yeah. solid piece yeah, of gear. Yeah, exactly. That can't be a real thing, can it? Because I have hard case luggage, and I don't think that they're rolling <laughs> I know, well. it. I don't know if they just made that up or the back in the '90s. That's what they, if they rolled it like that. It's it's smoother. This whole thing. It's it's, yeah. be, it's better for stacking. If you remove the luggage, it would just look like a factory, like a factory from a Skid Row video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Cinderella. Just one of those like mul- you just see like molten like like molten metal dripping in the yeah. background. Yeah, hot babes working guy. at the factory. Oh god! By the way, ooh, by oh, the way, yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah, I can't tell. And of course, they didn't see the guys running away or anything, just him. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my badge. Uh oh. How are you going to are you going to yeah. explain this one, McLean? But this wouldn't again, this would not take long. And so now, okay, you have to just for a minute cooperate with the cops while they look you up. They're going to say, I'm John Yeah, he's going to give him as much here's attitude as possible. Here's my or like whatever. Here's like I am John McLean. I don't have my badge. They call it in. Hey, is there a cop named John McLean? You bet there is. Do you not hear about <laughs> Nakatomi Tower? <laughs> Yeah, exactly right you bet there yeah is. well like i know that wouldn't be a worldwide uh, story it's not like everybody would know about the hero of nakatomi tower but definitely every cop would know that story yeah right oh yeah. Like, just some fucking joe cop over here fucking <laughs> climbs up this building and then you're gonna make up tons of shit yeah, like, at the end he fought the building the building came to life and he punched it right in his building face Got thirty blowjobs while he blew up all the bad guys. Got what blow- a bang! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and um, she hates this guy, right? Yeah, uh, I, that's my favorite part. Stewardess. That, that moment of recognition. Apparently, they all hate him because he wrote a story called "Bimbos of the Sky." Yeah. I'm not doing it. You're probably it's the plate in your head. 
Can they? They can uh, hear all this. I don't know. They might be able to. They might not. Uh, who knows? Either. I can definitely hear it. Merry Christmas. Every time we lean back. No. Not Me. Now I'll lean back. It's, me. it's. I think oh, it's that's just atrocious. Yeah. I'm gonna click around here. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> sorry, we're having a little. What the hell? Difficulties. But not as bad as our audio difficulties back when we recorded that, that live episode. <laughs> the live the Twitter Club. feed. But we're, we're, we're working. I joined on the Mile High Club with any of these women, especially the old one. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry, Absolute McLean. I know it took four they, hours, but I had to check. But they give, did they just give him a new badge? Yeah. It, that can't be a thing, no, right? Because you have a badge number and stuff like that. <laughs> like, hey, borrow mine. You don't get your badge yet? Yeah. Take this one. Send it back to me in the mail, whatever. I always got spears. I lose yeah. badges like freaking crazy. Up <laughs> and here. guns. Speaking of losing badges, I lost my Nexus card. Oh my god. That's going to be problematic. What the hell is that even? Mm. When it's you join the, uh, the wrestling faction, the Nexus? No, it's the uh, fast travel, like, oh, uh, the highway. border card. No, not the highway, the border. The border, uh oh. So I have my Look passport. Look at this. They're so digging for the. Deal. For the friggin' uh, the necklace that opens up Necronomicon. Oh my god. <laughs> See, look, it's like if we dig wouldn't right that be here. A, wouldn't that be amazing if you had a movie like this and you're like, oh my god, just another Die Hard or whatever? And then it was like, we're looking for like the lost witches. Of yeah. Blah, blah, and they're like, what? The lost orb of, you know, witchdom yeah. <laughs> central. Witchdom. You, wow, you, you, you went in with nothing, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> you know, when you're adding orbs to Die Hard, you know, yeah. you, take, you take what you get, you know? Oh, I like it. oh, whoa. Oh, that trigger. See, I, I feel like most guns have enough of a hair trigger that that would have done, done it. Oh, Why would you want to hang out with this fucking guy? Yeah. Ooh, the chamber won't be empty next time. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you just said it also. Mm-hmm. He fought. Ooh, he's like, you said a bitch, I just shit my pants again. Yeah. No, Fonny Curtis Hall does not shit his pants. Okay, he dribbled a little. Yeah, he, just, uh, he has a little, like, stain. Little yeah, shit, this is where we do our cop stuff. Let's go to yeah. cop station. I know. I don't know what you guys call I work it down over in. over there. <laughs> oh, there he is. Mm-hmm. Is he alive still? No, he died, didn't he? Uh, or am I, am I taking Tony dead. Soprano? Well, they're all dead. He I, looked like I'm he sure should Dennis have died years ago. Yeah. yeah, he looks like he had a heart attack because he just, like, after NYPD Blue, he just continued being a cop at people. Yeah. He's like, you don't fucking understand. I don't <laughs> it's <laughs> freaking. He looked like he was just stressing at all times he looks like just stress in the heart he he looks like if uh danny devito's cocaine habit was more apparent because <laughs> i'm not saying danny devito uh, didn't do uh, cocaine in the 80s but he should have looked like this while it was happening dear god and maybe they both should have been skinnier i don't know i don't know the rules of cocaine i believe dennis or uh danny devito's penis is dennis franz oh my god yeah he whips it out. He whips it out. It's exactly as tall as him. It's like get Rhea Perlman over here. <laughs> and my Petey Blue. Uh, mm-hmm. Wasn't what's his name on there too? <laughs> Who? A red-haired freak. What's his Caruso? name? Caruso. Yeah. Yeah, Caruso. He. And that's when his Be penis. Dated. As Dennis Franz says, I'm way. I have way more charisma than Caruso. Hey. Yeah. Well, it's probably... because they didn't figure out Caruso's, uh, like button until. Uh, CSI Miami. It was the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the glasses made that noise. Yeah. It wasn't was like a sound it... thing. You gotta have like this guy, right? Like the movie would be way too quick if this guy would be like, "I have a fucking the whole airport. Come on, I got a job to do here." Yeah, uh, it's always yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna stop me. It's friggin' Christmas. Or yeah. Like any of these things. Instead of we'll give you my full support because something weird's going on. <laughs> yeah, like clearly something is going on. Yeah. Russian dudes. Me and my little brother John Leguizamo, we just found our way through a pipe into a dinosaur world. Which, by the way, John Leguizamo in this movie, so it's not completely oh, out of the question shit, that it's going to Oh, shit, that's right, happen. he is. Dennis Franz would have made a good Mario at this point in his life if you would have kept Oh, him hell him. yes, he would have. Son of a bitch. It was like a rated R, dirty version. Yeah. Definitely. He calls Princess Peach a cunt a ton. I should, he should have been in Last Tango in Paris, the live stage show. <laughs> Oh my god, what happened oh, to that geez. poor dude on the old road? His whole face looks like if you zoomed in on one of Seal's scars. He looks like, uh, you know, like he goes to the same dermatologist as the dude from Goonies. <laughs> What's his name? He was in Die Hard 1. He played the FBI agent. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what's I, his, I, I don't know his name. Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, I know. He goes in the talking. same fucking thing. Like, he's got it, too. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of character faces in this one, let me tell you. Yeah. So you got to make uh, John McClane look good. Yeah, somebody in the background needs to be carved up. <laughs> they need to look like what I assume Oprah's left ass cheek looks oh, like. Oh, God, yes. Uh, dimples. One of, so uh, that's what I was, I was just thinking too. I was like, one of Oprah's dimples enveloped the entirety of Nicki yeah. Minaj's ass. Looks like a factory second golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> a return. Yeah. This one has too many dimples. Yeah, and they're, none of them are where they're supposed to be. <clears throat> yeah, what it's the like, hell? If I hit it, it goes backwards. <laughs> like that weird fucking uh, ball that KFC had. Yeah. I don't know why anybody wanted to play with it. You played with it for like five seconds. I was like, this thing doesn't work, man. I like that the coroner just said he took out the guy's hand and he went, ew. It's like gross, <laughs> dead body. It's his first day. You he didn't be, really want to do this. You gotta be You know, he got talked me. into it. His dad did it for years and <laughs> he dropped out of college and now he's got to work with the old man and bombing fucking bodies. Yeah, I know. I get it, but like. Oh, the guy in the right kind of looked like Ernie Hudson at first glance. Now he looks like Smokey <laughs> Robinson. <laughs> first glance. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it kind of does look like Smokey Robinson. Yeah. See, I got that going. Like It post- mixed with Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Yeah, and Smokey Robinson. Here comes Russian was, Joe. You know say, what they've arrested this guy for? For selling too much Dos Equis. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, that- I, don't, I don't always get drunk and beat my wife and kids, but when I do, nice. I drink Dos Equis. So... This general. I mean, in a room. No, they're, they're, he's here because they they caught him and the Russians hacking uh, Star Wars uh, uh, review feeds. Oh, nice. Yeah. This I is like the guy it. who spearheaded the whole, like, let's call The Last Jedi a piece of shit. But I'll put you on notice. This man is not from Russia. He is from the fictional country of Valverde, which is a South American country, theoretically. And it is. Is that same, for real? Yeah. And it is the same country for that the bad guys from Commando are from. No way. Valverde. Why? Same writer. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So he just made up a place so they can't be like, oh, the Colombians aren't like this. He's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. This isn't Russia. This isn't Col- it's Valverde. Yeah. Well, he's not Russian. He's like clearly not a he's, Russian. I know. Person. He's Valverdean. He's Valverde. Yeah. Val- Come yes. on. He's, a, he's Valverde. They have their own currency for fuck's sakes. Yes. It's the US dollar for some reason. <laughs> yeah. It's called the Valverde. The, the Volva. Yeah. The Volva. I got the Volva. <laughs> Valvida. Mm, that's when you eat hot Velveeta cheese out of a fat woman's vag. Yeah. Look at oh, that. Twi- oh, here he is. Carl Winslow. I love it so much. I like that. that I, I like <laughs> so that he's like. Much. I like that they've become such friends where he's like, I'm. Uh, where he's like, you know what? I'm stuck at this airport at the counter. I'm holding up the line so I can call my buddy and bother him at work. Yeah. At least, they have the time zone. at least they have the time zones figured out. It's dark in New York and it's light in California. This was a question you asked earlier. It is not. <laughs> so I don't ask questions. Was, I know oh, shit. Actually, but I'll be fair. He, I, I just realized he's. this is a whole nother thing. Because he literally just said he was in D.C. With his own... No, he's in... Uh, <clears throat> what? Yeah, he's in D- the D.C. airport. Yeah, so he's in D.C., and Buddy's but, back in L.A. So what the fuck good is his badge doing? He's like, don't worry, I'm a cop. Not here, you're not. All cops, you can do wherever, whatever, wherever. That's, yeah, like just... Well, no, because more... Dennis Franz tried to shut him down. Now he's, you yeah. know... Because you should shut him down because... Yeah, well, he's out of his jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. So what's he doing because he's out of his jurisdiction? Quick, I have to call somebody who's as far away as possible <laughs> well, no, and he get needs him the... to solve the oh, yeah. problem. You know, get get, get appearance. He uh, should have. What, what, I, I wanted movie. him to say right when the fingers came out. Yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, <laughs> the Russian. Uh, <laughs> not for nothing. <laughs> yes. Oh, what was the movie? Uh, I think it was Glimmer Man, actually. Where, the Glimmer Man, where you can see him comparing fingerprints to pictures of faces. <laughs> like he's holding up a fingerprint and looking at a face and going, "Nope, not yeah, him." Yeah, I don't think like, these fingerprints belong to this guy. Yeah, that's not a guy with fat fingers. Yeah. So. Honest question. What do you think the odds were that they tried to get uh, Carl Winslow to be the the guy in uh, Die Hard 3? Oh, like that would have been way better. It would have made more Some, sense. Yeah, I know. That would have been way better. Die Hard 3 is awesome, though. I think the only... I think the only How could it have worked? Like, he's on vacation in New he York? He was visiting him in New York or something like and that. And then the whole... And then, no, they go to meet for a coffee. 
Yeah. Then boom. Or. Yeah. They're both in New York. They go meet for a coffee. Boom. Explosion. Done. They're both at the cop station. Or you go back to LA and because he's trying to get back with his wife, but now he's like staying with him. Would it be cool that it took place uh, in LA again? Where people are like, fuck this, yeah, but, man. I've seen L.A. No, but you haven't. From the because window the whole of the Nakatomi took, Tower. I was going to say, the whole movie takes place inside a building, so it could have been in Minnesota for all you know. Oh. <laughs> just the weird. Oh. Just the weird. I like her hair, bro. I, I like that I do, I I like that big old. I would, like, I would never like it on a person today. but like, it's, What the hell? Uh, these guys all look like all featured players from Saturday Night Live. It's Mikey Day. <laughs> the fe- I thought that was everybody nowadays. Yeah, pretty much. I don't recognize any of them. Those two guys did terrible at the Emmys. Terrible. I didn't see much of it. Well, yeah, that's because nobody even talked about because it, it was boring and it sucked and they, they were terrible. Well, then, the problem is there is nobody who's good at the Emmys anymore because nobody does anything at the Emmys. They just bring out the next people. They have like You're you have to eight do seconds like a skit to do before. something. They don't. No, like you, Billy Crystal oh, at the Oscars. Oh, they were fucking horrible every time. Bro, and, Hugh Jackman, he was good. And mo- no, he just did. He basically did what Billy Crystal. What Billy Crystal. That's what did. you're supposed to do. You, no, it's a horse and pony show, bro. Give me something, dance, no, sing. Chris Rock. Chris Rock was probably my favorite. Yeah, he was, he's always guys, good though because he just came out and crushed people like he's like i'm just gonna make fun of these movies instead of no way like, ricky gervais at the golden Mando. globes yeah but i but we were just talking oscars so i was just <laughs> oh it to oscars but yeah ricky gervais was definitely good tina fey and um oh and amy poehler, amy poehler were really no good too. nobody's no. as good as the man billy crystal and they all know oh, it oh christ He's like the David Letterman. He's Uma, the he, oh Oprah, lord, Oprah. fifteen times, fifteen yeah. minutes apiece. I liked. Oh, he's lighting up another butt. I can't. You remember. think he smoked in real life? Probably. He looks like he smokes in real life. Is that Robin Williams in front of him? Holy yeah. fuck! Hey, see hey, that guy? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you wearing my sweater? Huh? <laughs> Let's just pick out every guy in the background and say what celebrity he probably is. Everyone who's got some oh, the Lord Durham. That was, yeah. There goes uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman uh, as, uh, what's her name, the check. Let's just shut everything down and remember that this man who's speaking, not that man. Is that Wesley Snipes from, uh, yes. from, <laughs> from he, uh, he looks the future like, movie? No, you know, he, lo- he looks a lot, <laughs> that guy looks a lot like um, Ross Bagley, the kid who played, uh, he was uh, Buckwheat in the movie, The Little Rascals, and then he was Will Smith's youngest cousin in Fresh Prince. He's just the adult version of him. Nice. That guy there talking to Dennis Franz is the dude in the painting in Ghostbusters 2. He's pretty much. There he is. But he's also a man who ran for president for real. Oh, my. He did? Yeah. He should be the president. Like, they're like, well, Mr. Trudeau. Yeah. Whoa. The, well, the, pro- the problem is he's so, like, he looks like that is the problem. And it's just the problem like, again. Well, at, at least back then it was the problem. It's not a problem anymore, apparently, but... Because he's dead? No, because like Trump's face is a million times worse. Oh God, yeah. See, he just makes it everybody. That's the one thing Trump did. He makes yeah. everybody look good. Yeah. In comparison. I liked. Um, it sucks that Stormy Daniels lost. Somebody. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. The John Leguizamo. Johnny Legs. Apparently, <laughs> they said he was supposed to. Uh, well, he said in his autobiography he was supposed to have a bigger part in this movie. But then they uh, they saw him and they were like, oh, he's too short. Forget it. He's too short. So it was like, but I can see. You'll never have a career. They're all short. Well, a lot, yeah, but I mean, I think if one guy is like prohibitively shorter than the rest of them, it's just like, like Tom uh, Cruise. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I know, but like, they, at like least Pacino, they, they set up for a star. They don't set right. up for it's like, OK, we're going to make sure that everything looks cool, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Guy who, you know, makes a billion dollars a movie or hey, John Leguizamo. Johnny, no fucking guy. You, you mean the star of House of Buggin is in this? Oh, yeah. So, like, the man. The man. All this came out before. He was in actually. Spawn. It was an executive decision. Don't say that. Oh yeah, title. sorry. Oh Jesus God. Christ. Now my wife's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Spawn. I like it was a red light special old, that they have going on here. Listen to our old episodes if you want to know what's going on with Spawn. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not going over. Fuck it Michael J. White. Ugh. <laughs> 
he's got a lot of YouTube videos just like where he's just doing like it's, watch me kick. It's like the karate version of Chris A uh, uh, David Blaine, where he's just got like random Magic celebrities kicks. sitting around and then he does like a spin kick and they're all like, Whoa and then that's like the end of I'm it. Michael Jai White. Yeah. Watch me floss in between my two front teeth. And then he explains why he's like, this is how I can beat any MMA fighter in the history of the world. And then he does some stuff. I was like, well, why don't you go fight any MMA fighter? Yeah, no, 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 because then you actually have to prove it. Yeah. Rather than just say it. Yeah. Then you end up like Conor McGregor. Exactly. Just a fucking pile of goo in the middle of the ring. Fucking A. Tapped out like a little Good, good. I'm glad he did. I wonder if they gave Buddy his money yet. No, I don't think so. You know, what's so. funny is that after all that Conor McGregor does, they handed his money no problem. And the other guy, like, he might not even get paid. Yeah. Well, because he did way less than what Conor McGregor ever did, but he's, like, Muslim or whatever. So, I don't of know course, that, they're going to fuck him. Everything I saw, like, Conor McGregor said a bunch of shit. This guy, like, attacked innocent people. No, no, no. Conor McGregor attacked a bus, injuring people with a big oh. friggin' thing. He fucking jumped over the railing yeah. at his buddy's match and punched the referee in the face. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, man. Conor yeah. McGregor done all the time. Like, d- during their, like, you know, where you stand off and, you, you know, these guys are terrible, uh, terrible electricians. Like, yeah. they're not doing their yeah. job at all. <laughs> Literally, like, their job the was to fix it. Yeah, like, what are you doing? Uh Sometimes you gotta tear it right down and start from scratch. I just you know? I don't know. Yeah. Cut the green wire. There is yeah. no green wire. <laughs> They're it's, all green. It's just a six foot wide wire. Cut it. <laughs> what color is it? It's pink. Oh fuck. Uh, this guy has the voice. Like he should be, always be like the CIA head or something yeah. like that. Which he is a lot. He was if in, you, in the line of fire. Mission if you choose to accept it. Yep. He was in in the line of fire as like the Secret Service guy. Oh, he was too. That movie's awesome. It is. Really we should watch good. that movie. I'd like to watch that. Fucking it. That's that a was the one. movie that like made me fall in love with John Malkovich because he's yep. just like extra special. Creepy that's that the movie. movie that made me fall in love with murdering the president. Oh, that's not a good thing to say. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You can get a, you can get arrested for just saying that. <laughs> I didn't mean this president. I, I meant mean, all of them. Yeah, I meant yeah. I just meant who's the president in this movie? Yeah, he's a dead that's man. what I meant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if the terrorists have their way, he's a dead man. It's exactly right. <laughs> McLean. Yeah. I just, but I love that they're bringing him along for the ride. They're not like you can't do any. You're not allowed to do any of this shit. Get lost. Well, they're like him. Hey, he might be on to some. Uh oh, look, look. How could they know already? This is another one of our like shut it down early movies. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to go up there and talk to them. And they're like, no, you're not. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going through. And <laughs> yeah. they both, and they all draw guns. They're like, you're not going anywhere. This yeah. Is, like, this is protected by federal law. It's a jurisdiction that way overshadows yours. Uh, yeah. You may leave now. Oh, now Buddy's and been perfect. delegated to the desk. Yeah. He can't murder anybody mm-hmm. correctly. Or now he's the phone operator lady. Operator. Or the or the better version. He's like, What's gonna happen to my wife's plane? Oh, we've diverted it to Boston. All right, I'll head to Boston then. Yeah. The end. Yeah, why couldn't they have done that? There's something going on here where they can't. Yeah. Like if any planes divert, I'll blow everybody up. <laughs> I wanna do a, a really bad, like a scientifically wrong version of speed where like if this plane goes over 55 because the movie miles, was right on no no i just want to say like if this plane goes over 55 miles an hour it's like if the plane goes less than 55 miles an hour it just falls out of the sky <laughs> it's got to be going a couple hundred <laughs> no way figure it out yeah no it's just it's going like super slow and it's like shaking like they've got does like, this board here have anything to do with anything or just just like there to look cool it's flashing lights i think it's the exact same board from uh empire strikes back when they're in the caves and they're right like, there's that random yeah it's this is a fox movie oh he's, he's talking to him right now mm-hmm. oh yeah he's coming over i think he's like oh i told you guys something was going on he's bluffing quick restore our systems uh-oh here we go that's always my favorite thing too it's just like he, he's got to be bluffing it's like all right let's just turn everything back on oh no we've suffered severe penalties yeah well, sure, well, surely that wasn't good <laughs> yeah well what do you know or they do the total flip we have to give him everything he wants and then only here goes no i'll stop him well he's like in the meantime everybody's <laughs> dying yeah just send john mcclain and fuck man i gotta go take a shit and i uh, geez, have a smoke you go over there and you stop these terrorist fucks. I don't give a fuck, okay? Man to man. What? 
I would love I would love nothing more than just a version where we just dub you over one but no context. You're not allowed to hear anything. Yeah, like, just like uh, we know no, no like what's uh, happening. No subtitles, anything like that. You just have to see whenever his lips are flapping, your lips have to start flapping. <laughs> and then we play have the movie. To start flapping. Okay, looks I'm, like, no, I'm uh, serious. We're gonna do it we'll do a chunk of a movie. We should we actually that guy looks like uh oh, fuck where is he? There was a porn cop there. <laughs> he's, he's like a stripper gram that they just yeah. had, uh, you know. Yeah, well, it makes like sure like wonderful... he, he's a stripper gram, but he moonlights as a cop. Yeah. He makes way more money as a stripper gram. And the one on the left was a village person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the guy. So, and again, news person just boom walks in. bursts in. Whoa, 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 lady, hey! Oh yeah, like do you know how many here. people are allowed in air, car- air traffic control? None. That seems everybody's air tra- allowed up there. Air today. traffic controllers aren't even allowed up there. <laughs> it's like it's gotta be empty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too stressful up here. That's exactly like Go apparently home. apparently that Air Canada f- plane was like cl- the close to having like the worst disaster in in aviation history. Yeah, they say. Yeah, I I disagree. Remember when uh, Denzel Washington flew that plane upside down? Oh my God! Yes, that was way worse. Which one was that? Or any of the ones that crashed and everybody died? Those ones are all. Yeah, I know. That's why I thought it was such a strange thing to say too. And they're like, it was almost the worst crash. Like you could say that for anything. Yeah. Like it was a near miss, and they're saying like, if it did happen, it would be. I was like, I don't know, man. Some of them were pretty awful. Like it was like when like Apollo thirteen was the biggest disaster in space. I'm like, ask the people on the Challenger. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, exploded. Exactly. Yeah. Ask looking... all those aliens that died. None of them. Speaking of aliens that died, I watched. Um... Independence Day Resurgence again for the first oh, time since Lord. it was out in theaters. Again for the first time. Well, no, it was like huh? I saw it when it came out in theaters and was like, oh my God, this is terrible. And then we were airing it at work. So I'm like, I'm just going to poke in at this for a few minutes. And I'm like, oh no. Just going to peek my head in for a while and see where she's at. Oh, Hemsworth. Hi. Hey, not... wasn't there some guy in here with you? She looks a little Ooh. bit. She has mm. she has the facial structure of the little guy from the island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a great thing to say about hanging a around with uh yeah with uh buns with brando yeah brando buns Who, man we'll, we'll have to watch that movie because there's so much to talk about it, about that movie but that he, movie was fucked he literally had the guy who was supposed to be his right hand man relegated to like basically a background role he was like the fourth or fifth highest um like guy on the uh in the credits and he was like no get rid of him i want to hang out with the little guy <laughs> and so he just put the little guy who has no lines in the movie and so he's just like saying weird things to like his mini which is the where the whole mini me thing came yeah from. but the um but yeah he's like i just want to be with him and he's like and so this other guy who was so excited to be in this movie with marlon brando and it's like literally he had a ton of lines and all his scenes were with brando take it away and it was just like no and then they're like well we got to give those lines to somebody like we'll give them to val kilmer and val's like nope i'm not doing them he's like i want less lines i want less like he get got, me out of this turkey he, well, no he got he had gotten divorced right before the movie started and he's like i don't want to be in this movie he was supposed to be the main guy that uh david Thewlis plays Right. And then they were like, I want no part of doing this. He wanted to get out of the movie. And they're like, well, no, you're in a contract, blah, blah, So he ended up switching roles to this other guy. And they're like, but I want to do 40% less than even that. So they cut wow. of his line. So now they I didn't know nobody... you had a choice when you made a movie. Like, what the hell? They're just like, okay, well, whatever. Uh, it was just one of those nightmares where I think they were just, like, bending to anybody. Like, it wasn't even supposed to be David Thewlis. It was supposed to be Rob Morrow after... Uh, Val Kilmer switched. Holy fuck. And Rob Morrow literally got Sounds on like a Don boat. Don Quixote. Yeah. Rob Morrow got on a boat and was like calling his agent going, get me out of here. Like, like get like, me like, the fuck out. You know, that's when you got money, man. Just get, yeah. get your ass to the airport. Yeah. So, well, well, then that was you the thing. You have your hand held out well, there. No, it wasn't that. No, they were, they was like, get me out of my contract. Right. And then. Because uh, you'll get sued and all and, those buzz. And then Feruza Balk was caught at the airport trying to escape the movie. Oh, my God. Like, this movie sounds amazing. It's so amazing. It sounds like a great you, production. I got to find the documentary so you can watch it. It is out of this world. Hearts of Darkness 2? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty the much. Return. And you got the same fucking guy, oh, too. Oh, look at Cole is the pilot. I forgot about Was that. it? Yeah. You know, you think that's crazy because they always said how crazy Apocalypse Now was, the, the you know, making oh. that movie, it's, and it's all Brando. Yeah. It's because Brando was like, just well, fucked. Like no, Francis Ford Coppola had a lot to do with being fucked in that. Yeah, well. But he didn't, 
like that was a big thing was because he was uh, Brando came in so fat he's like I don't want to be filmed as like we well, kind of were, like one of the stars of the movie yeah I don't want to be filmed like what that's yeah how about you just don't take roles you yeah like you... what are you doing then what yeah exactly need... what are you doing I need money <laughs> he was such a good looking great actor too like what the fuck Could happened to imagine, that guy like had he like maintained himself and stuff like that he would have looked like a paul newman or something guy. yeah he would, have, been like, he would have still been in movies you'd still be seeing him in shit but now he just got weird and fucking died yeah fucking died. he just died of like just strangeness yeah he wore. He didn't wear pants for so long. It killed him. He donated all his money to the shadow of an Indian girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and what he, the and that's literally what it said. A Pretty sh- much. The shadow of an Indian girl. And they're like, "What kind? Like, is he like being racist, Indian, or like a person yeah. from India? Which no, he girl? Means their shadow. Yeah. What qualifies as girl? Does this mean under eighteen? What Should we be concerned as a shadow? about what he's doing? Yeah. What, like, how big what, is it? A noon shadow, or it's yeah. just underneath the twelve o'clock in high, or you know, what do we what do we got going on here? I don't like any of this. Uh oh. Uh oh. My dog just came in and put her nose on my foot. Oh, here we he's it. playing ventilation duct bingo. He's listening to them play bingo through the ventilation duct. Yeah. Every now and then through you go, yeah, yeah, bingo. And everybody looks, well, I didn't say it. I, no. I didn't say it. I just assumed that, that ventilation duct bingo is a bunch of people are climbing through ventilation ducts. And then whenever somebody comes out, like they're all labeled. <laughs> and then you like just mark that one off. And then when somebody falls through the next one. You... Bingo. I think it's. Oh, he's going to climb game. through the vent here, eh? Yeah. You know, the problem with this one is it's, it's just the same movie. Yeah. It's the yeah. first one again. Like he's climbing yeah. through the vents. Oh, oh there's the T one thousand. Man, everybody from uh, Super Mario Brothers or should have been in Super Mario Brothers is in this movie. This is like the a cast. You know, yeah, they must have been like, hey, <laughs> I, look at the fucking ears on this guy. I like. Oh, that was kind of hilarious to me. I like that they stopped the thing, and I was like, what if they just all stayed there and they're like, hey, what happened? And like they couldn't just walk up the ramp. <laughs> I like that uh, at this point in time, now don't trust anybody that works here. Yeah. That isn't a police officer. Yeah. Because everybody, right, okay, first the dude's fucking with the buttons of the conveyor belt. Uh-huh. Now these painters. Yeah. Can God, they check really anybody for guns? Or no, what? Of course not. Um, yeah, yeah, again, the, what are you doing going to paint here? Take a machine gun. Pre 9 11 world, man. Yeah. When I went to Disney for Have the first time. Have a pack time. of smokes and a machine gun. I went to, the, yeah, I went to Disney in 1995. I brought a bazooka <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> And, they had a bazooka holder and six ounces of liquid. Oh my god, like that's that's monster. the worst one now. The bazooka's fine. The six ounces of liquid might be a problem. Unacceptable. Boom. Look at all those shooting. Yeah. Where are they? That there's all those. Pa- oh, it's a spot. It's a Isn't paint it? area. Yeah. It's an under construction. Yeah, area. Yeah, come on. Around. You know, you got some scaffolding, some paint. I feel like this some move- bubble wrap. Yeah, I feel like this like combination of movies should have made ooh, uh, John McClane really racist. It's like every time I'm around black people, everything goes to shit. He's <laughs> like, so the, the <laughs> oh, it's true. Part three, he moves. Yeah. Part three, he moves to Boston, and he's like, we're gonna be fine. And then he's like, oh no, the Utah Jazz is in town. The Utah Jazz. And then and shit just, goes down. And the one black guy who's on Utah Jazz comes up. He's like, oh my God, I heard about you from Nakatomi. <laughs> and then everything goes crazy. He's like, it's shit, happening again. Shit goes nuts. Oh, uh, is this T-1000? Uh, no, this is literally just the pain. That would have been amazing. Oh, it is. You luck. see all those slow footsteps and then you see it's just the guy who's actually here to paint. No, don't do it. I don't know why he wouldn't just shoot him from way back. No, because you want that moment. Oh my lord! He had twelve hours to mm-hmm. kill both of them. My yeah, I know. Well, because my favorite thing about him in oh events my word is it's probably very easy and to hear that somebody's in event. <laughs> like the ducks are so loud. And so able... Oh, he's like, I'm getting a call. You're getting... Yeah. <laughs> so you'd probably be able to pinpoint like a, probably about like a six to eight foot yeah. area. He's like, he's in this area. Let's put a few bullets in it because it's not bulletproof, and then that will be the end of it. Look at this! No one can hit. Always oh, doing the roll, the classic roll. Like, Literally, like, they're just missing. Every... If he wasn't rolling, he'd be dead. I want to have just a cop. Who, or like especially somebody who like trains Holy people in the fuck. academy or something like that i want to like have them see these moves and i want to have see him, these like, moves these no, hot no, moves no, I, I want the, and i want him to explain to everybody why those would be like the worst things to do so why would you not roll like a moron <laughs> well it gives you a ton of surface area to <laughs> yeah. get shot in the back <laughs> yeah, and like the you also can't aim upside down very well and when you're constantly rolling and moving and bumping around your aim is going to be bad as well so basically you're just 
just a weird target. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I like, like this cool. guy too on the top of the scaffolding. Never moves. Yeah. Oh, oh. that dummy got wasted. <laughs> I know. Holy man. So, there's sometimes when I just flat out don't mind it was a dummy. Oh no, that like light thing fell on his back. <laughs> What is this guy from? He re- he reminds me the, of... The, the buddy at the top was like never... Like you think he'd go to the other side, but all he did was wave his arms underneath. <laughs> you know, he's got he's got the high ground for Christ's sake. Uh-oh, yeah. here we go. Yeah, I know. And we know... You're going to kick your fucking Episode three, ass. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, uh-oh. That would have been amazing. See, I like that. I actually like that as a little gimmick, but I think it would have been better if it was going the other way and then the guy was like, what's happening? And he's just getting further away from... <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's like, no. He can't run against the fall. He puts it on <laughs> fall, and he's, he's like, he can't. He can't even keep up. It's like Robert Patrick, and he's sprinting, but he's still only getting. He like he's gaining no ground. Does this one have a higher body count than the first one? I think it does. I think so because it was like the plane crash. But you don't see be... those people yeah. die or anything. Yeah. For all we know, that was an empty plane that was just out for practice. Practice runs. Yeah. It's like put it on autopilot. And Whoa. Send it out there. Lots of explosions. Down. Yeah, here we I go. Think nice that was, explosion. That was one thing that this one ha- had the opportunity to have was more open area to create, like, explosions. Like, he gets to jump off the roof in the other one, and they get that explosion and stuff. But, like, they have all of outside. Oh, everything's just blowing up, and yeah. Anything can blow up at any given moment in McLean's world. On any given Sunday. Bait. Switch and bait, baby. Yeah. So we've done now... Jerk us off. Whoa. So this year we've done Halloween 2 for our Halloween movie and Die Hard 2 for one of our uh, Christmas movies. Now the question is, do we do the awful Halloween 3 for our Halloween movie next year? Absolutely. And do we do Die Hard 3, which takes place nowhere near Christmas. It takes place in the summertime. Can't do Die Hard 3. Yeah, okay. I do not agree with Die Hard 3. Yeah. Well, I don't think anybody's making that argument. Oh. I actually saw, now I didn't see this kind of weirdness, but I saw a lot of planes yesterday. And I know, like, when I'm driving home, I'm near the airport. But, like, it just seemed like they were really tight together all landing. And they were coming from a direction, like, usually they're coming from, like, the east on the 401 highway. Right. I know this is really fucking yeah. interesting yeah. for people who know our 400 series highways. <laughs> um, but like these ones were all going north on the four, towards the 427. And I was like, what's happened? Like, I don't know. Like, they all look like they were leaving the friggin' Toronto Island and going that way. And I was like, it was a mass evacuation. They didn't want you to know, though. You weren't in the know. They were surprised. So it was going low. down, yo. Zombie gas. Breakout. Shit. I knew yep. It. Yeah, the old zombie gas factory. Uh, Eli Roth did the history of horror on uh, AMC, and they've broken it down into like different types of horror movies and stuff. Right. And so the first episode was zombies. Did his so Did his clock in the walls come out yet? Uh, so, like, yes. How was it? Was it supposed it's to be any good weekend. or what? I don't know. I I don't know how it was. I was told that this weekend it's out with. Um, did did they bag the phones flip. there? Yeah. As like evidence. Yeah. Look no. like the phones are in. Yeah, I guess they did. That's so you don't accidentally use it and get blood smeared all over your face. That guy with it when he covers his mouth, he looks like uh, William Forsythe, but then when he uncovers it, he looks like the lost Baldwin. <laughs> the lost. And he looks like somebody. He looks like that guy with the big mouth, and he was in that vampire movie. He looks like his kid. I can't think of his name. He's like ripped. He's got a big ass mouth on him. He's always in all, all them horror movies. I have no idea who you're talking. You know, big about. mouth. Come on. Good old big mouth. Tony Todd. To, yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that white guy with like the Joker's mouth looks like Tony Todd. Get him to enter the code. Uh, what code? What are they looking for? There's always a code. Who's that? that <laughs> who's this guy? Who's this guy? <laughs> Where's the trivia? That's what I already friggin' told you. We yeah, didn't why do don't the you tell the people out there? I was like, you, I was like, I don't have the I trivia for this. I'm like, ready. it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then you called me out like a fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Uh, I'm not happy about anything today. It has been a long day. It certainly has. We did our first live today. I've been up since four o'clock in the morning. Oh, you beat me. Oh. You beat me. I just slept like shit last night. Yeah. It was wicked. I was having all these nightmares. Oh, nice. Boner inducing nightmares. Uh, I've been watching too much paranormal dead. survivor. I can't watch that shit. We're having, I love it. At work, they're having like a. Uh, like a demonstration of like all the they're bringing in a bunch of like ghost hunting like equipment and then they're like 
Oh, it's giving God. Ghost hunting talk. The That's ghost funny. hunt talk, man. I'm into that shit. I'd be there. Yeah. Let me fill in for you. They no, won't I'm even know. So we're name tag. This is Joe. That would be weird because like, I don't hey. wear a name tag. Hey, that would be like the first That's thing the they first notice. Time like, you're Joe doesn't wearing... wear a name tag. <laughs> that ain't Joe. And unlike the security <laughs> in this place, you would get bullets in the stomach. Okay, so then I just have to go in and sit in your chair. They'd be like, there he is. <laughs> Uh, always where he's sitting right there yeah i can see that i can see that a chair's being taken up that's joe <laughs> yeah that's joe all right well they're, they're trying to make a deal here on what they're going to order for dinner the side that i think we can make an agreement that brief moment of silence was me realizing how useless a person i am and i hate myself <laughs> at least he called them he's like you know we're calling him for pizza he's like they I gotta like, go right past you guys want something i thought what he he's was like, touching was digital and I oh, thought it was going like, to slide, slide that off, but then it was like, stuck yeah. to his hand. I'm like, it's like a contact lens with writing on it. That would be like me like going to like going on like Tinder and going to swipe left, but it's a wallet photo on my <laughs> stuck to my phone. Oh, What's he's changing altitude? the altitude of the whole place. Yeah, that's going to make them. But then now this is when the, this is what explains when they fight upside down on the ceiling. I like that they're anti-gravity. Yeah, I like that they just um, boop boop. They have a dial. Like, it's like, you could use that computer, that would make more sense and stuff to do all that, but they also just have a little altitude dial, it's like, I'm just gonna give this a little spin, and then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll be able to do what I want. It should be a big, big, a big wheel. Oh, there he is! Yeah. Which is this funny, because he helps uh, chase a plane in, Co- in Con Air. And he also helps drive a star plane in Star Trek TNG. TNG. Well, he was in the next generation as well, but I like he was his main. That's character. why I said it. No, I know, but I was like his main because I was, was I was waiting for you to six, say deep seven, deep six, seven. Fuck, getting deep in six yeah. inches deep into that hot number seven. Yeah. Was that her name? Yeah. What? Uh, nine. Seven of nine. Nine inches nine deep in old 12. number nine. I don't know. Whatever it was, it wasn't a high enough percentage oh, for me yeah. to give a shit. She was a hottie. Man, they went through a lot of fake snow in this movie. The fake snow budget must be through the fucking roof. This is, we're talking like shining fake snow budget. Maybe this is, maybe what they did is they made it snow down and then they turned the set upside down and they like strapped everybody so they're walking upside down and now it's snowing again. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They went through all that trouble. Yeah. I'm just saying, Rennie, Har- <laughs> Rennie Harlan's got He ideas. probably would. $100 million to flip everybody upside down so you can reuse the snow. Yeah. Tell me what's a more European thing than we'll flip the set upside down, but pretend that it's not upside and down. And he's wearing his banana hammock the whole time. Mm-hmm. Filthy Europeans. There's a great bit of director's oh God, commentary from him for The Covenant. Is, is that what's where- her name from... Uh- Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, no, no. Two guys like, are freaking I out. Jive. I speak jive. That's exactly what you're yeah. I speak jive. Chump don't want help. Chump don't get the help. But the... Um, Buddy, hold on. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, uh, Rennie Harlan's commentary on The Covenant. He's talking about like this girl's ass, and he's like explaining like having to cast the girl's ass. And he's like, it's awkward. I have the girl in my office, and you have to pick the perfect ass. Otherwise, the you the fans will be mad that you did. Like, and it's just like whoa i'm like you're overthinking this <laughs> too <laughs> i'm like i'm like you're making this movie for 15 year old boys as long yeah. as it's not your ass it's gonna be yeah fine. exactly i remember when i went to see uh the remake of i spit on your grave and the guy's like t- 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 like talking the director's there and he's like this is shakespeare that he's doing uh-huh. And this is like an anti-rape movie and blah, blah, blah. And it's all about women's rights, even though we watch her get raped like 12 times, I right? Well, he, they just hired him to work the airport now. Yeah. He lost the sticks. Well, there's somebody out there, for fuck's sakes, uh, waving yeah. sticks around. <laughs> Let me see if that's her. Holy Christ, it's John McClane. He's fucking loaded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so I, I go see. I spit in your grave, yeah. the remake, and I literally put my hand up and I was like, "When you have these girls in their office, are you like, hey, like, give me your best rape scream?" I'm like, "What's the, you know, how do you cast this?" And the guy was just like, so mad because like, how dare I, yeah. you know, like make light this like exploitation rape movie? I realize more and more how if we're to, if I if this is gonna become a like a popular podcast how quickly oh, i'm gonna have is. to sell you out it's fine and i'm just gonna like to replace you with Je- i'm gonna have to replace you with jeff garland oh <laughs> god gonna... hey wait a minute is he the dad on modern family no that's fucking al bundy man i'm talking jeff garland no no, from, no, no, no uh, modern Kirby family Enthusi- sorry i mean uh yeah Kirby Enthusi- sorry i'm talking the goldbergs oh the goldbergs yeah great show it's gonna be wonderful <laughs> 
Yeah, your podcast won't be so wonderful. It won't. Boom. Here we go. Boom. I know this guy. His name is Maury. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, uh, Boom. Here's another explosion. Yeah. Look at that <laughs> sick smile. I used to live with Hector Elizondo. <laughs> That's not true. I don't Hector think. Elizondo. Boom. <sighs> Plain explosion. I would have loved just shoot the scene just to have as a like a funny uh a funny a funny scene, gif like, no a funny like deleted scene or something like that where one of the air traffic controllers is like thank god that was just a practice plane <laughs> they <laughs> spend like, all that money on this fake plane explosion yeah. to it's just well, oh john get over it yeah th- maybe that's actually this would be a good reason if they explain that this is why him and his wife were fighting because he went through the the horror of trying his best to save like 400 people's lives and they all died in front of him. Have a couple of people like walk well, out yeah, and burning. Yeah. Should or, be the effort that it took for him to try and emote in that scene right there. Jesus yeah. Christ. That was like watching De Niro in the phone oh, booth in Goodfellas for know, God's sake. Do you know how uh, Robert, or I'm sure you fucked me up there. You know how Rennie Good. Harlan made uh, made him feel that way? He's like, you're not a good harmonica player. And then just <laughs> Bruno just sucks. Tears, and then he had to like, okay, calm down, calm, <laughs> calm down. down. And I had to bring him back to him a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, he just said Hector Elizondo. Oh no. Oh yeah. Man. You know, but wasn't there wasn't there a, a so train explode or a train? Isn't there a plane explosion in Long Kiss Goodnight? I don't. Recall. Isn't there a plane blowing up? I don't recall to be honest, but uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Long Kiss. Goodnight. I remember seeing that movie and then watching that same exact explosion happen in another movie because the... they like sold it to another movie because they're probably like we didn't make anything off this. That stuff blows my mind. Yeah, like, when they showed, what I was... couldn't believe it. I, it was it? some cheap ass movie too, and I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. I was like, "That's explosion." It was exactly the same one when the car runs yeah. across the, you know, through the phone toll there, and yeah. everything blows up behind them. Yeah. Well, there was, and then there was a bunch of ones too with um, like Transformers, and like it showed like the scene originally and there was a big car accident scene on the highway and then it was the exact same scene but then it was like one of the transformers who was like roller skating through the and like saves people like it's it's funny you can see the side by side yo i saw an extended preview for they were bumblebee both michael, they were both michael bay movies uh yeah it looked all right it doesn't look it, but it, i saw sound wave like the real one with yes. the tapes they had the tapes and it was all old school and i was like oh fucking a see i liked that i saw him <clears throat> But then at the same time, I was like, he has no business being there because he's a he's a giant boombox. Yeah. And I was like, that's not a thing. You know, after a long, hard day, you want to rock out with some tunes, man. I was like, they should have. Maybe have a Transformer Yahoo. Like, I think there was a medium because they made an attempt in the other Transformers awful. movies. It was an awful attempt because he was just out in space and doing nothing. I was like, they should have made him like a communication satellite on Earth. So, like, he was sitting there, and then they're, like, we're trying to send a message out. He's to more he's tactical. He's, like, he's got all the tapes shooting yeah. out of him. But, yeah, you know? it's like, I, I feel like they could have. The radio is just a bonus. Yeah, exactly. Let's just, yeah. like, a, you know, cherry on the old cheesecake yeah. there, man. Yeah, now instead of playing uh, Jefferson Starship, it's playing Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> Fucking so right. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Now he's a discman, a Panasonic Shockwave discman. I was working Which, through my head for a long time to make sure I said Wiz Khalifa right. I'm like, don't say any of it wrong, or you're gonna sound like a friggin' moron. <laughs> so what, uh-huh. Wiz Khalifa? I always like to because he could, really could be, you know, a, a Panasonic Walkman. Because and then in the cartoon, like he would transform and be humongous, and then when he and then suddenly he's a little boombox, and a kid could pick him up and run off with him. Yeah, you would still like even like he still weighs like you would just be way more dense and you would at least and like and the same thing with um friggin uh, Megatron, he turned into a gun that like they could hold in their hands. Yeah, I'm like not like a giant ass gun that like everybody has to. Like that was the one thing I give credit to the other movies for, at least the at least the first one. They made an attempt to show you like every piece went somewhere, yeah. and like they. So I was like, "Good, this works." The rest of the movie didn't, but like it was just like quick, like Ben uh, Ben Megan Fox over that motorcycle. Oh what does that have to do God. with anything? He's it's like, a, "Give me cares? fifteen, give me fifteen minutes of that." And then save it to my private hard drive, and then we'll move on. Yeah. She didn't even know it was happening. You know, he just asked her to, like, wax his bike. Yeah. He's like, come on, there, Titsy, wax my bike. She's like, yeah. my name's Megan. I'm an actress. And he's like, yeah, sure you are, babe. 
Was she in anything before that? No. She was in, like, I think she was in, like... Brian Austin Green was in her, though. Yeah, oh, dude. yeah. No, that wasn't until way later. That Ooh, wasn't... No, they were together for a long time. Oh, mm, wasn't? Okay. Yeah. But, like, I think she was in, like, a uh, sitcom or something like that. Hmm. Uh, I can't remember. They, so they were all in sitcoms. Like, I think she was in The Nanny or Didn't something. she play shit. Leonardo DiCaprio in Family Ties for she, two episodes? She did. Family she did. Ties. That was, uh, was that Growing Pains? That was Growing Pains, yeah. But oh, I'm fine. still getting Growing Pains. Yeah. Ugh. Don't make me look up Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. Oh, Meghan Fox isn't even the first person that comes up when you look up Meghan Fox. Wow. That's it's, how popular she is. It's the art director from Psych comes up first. <laughs> And that's not even her name. Is her name Megan Fox, or is it kind of close? It was no, it was the same, but it was not. The well, right she's one. not the number one. Well, unless it's a different spelling of the name, I guess. Uh, I don't know how to fucking spell her real name then. M E A G H N. Yeah, I don't fucking know anything. You don't even know how to spell. I'm just gonna. Look God Fox. sakes. There we go. It's uh, it's like Megan. It's more Megany. Meegsy? Meegsy. Oh, here comes Buddy from the first one. You want to put on a helicopter? Oh, she was in Bad Boys 2, uncredited. Oh, uncredited, huh? What I like oh, here comes Buddy. Oh, she was. The big twist. Oh, she was in Hope and Faith. That was the one. The this fucking movie's up. fucking still going. Well, I don't even care. Oh, John Amos is in the house. <laughs> He's just farting around. I forgot how much I dislike this movie. Oh, it's terrible. One fucking platoon. Oh, yeah, I don't trust anybody, McLean. John Amos, I like him a lot. Uh, I rem- For some reason, my biggest memory of him goes back to being uh, Mia Long's <clears throat> um, father in Fresh Prince. Oh, uh, yeah. Like oh, that's, that's right. He's in tons of stuff, but like, that's where my brain goes. I love Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince is great. Fresh Prince was oh, he's the genie stuff. in the new Aladdin live action. Will Smith, John Amos. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I did know that. The cast... they, they didn't show him in the. I don't know who else is in it, but I mean, like, oh, well, it was just the uh, trailer. Well, oh, I hope he's gonna be like sassy black yeah. man genie. I'm, I'm, mm, yeah, mm. They should have been, been Medea. They've been taking the live action ones very seriously so i'm like looking forward to seeing what it looks like uh i'm really looking forward to the lion king one because like actually i just saw they had a cast photo it was uh john favreau with um uh childish gambino there and seth rogan and billy eichner oh um, they're all in it eh? <laughs> yeah um who D- else donald glover is simba and seth rogan is t- uh puma and oh, billy eichner's God. timon I think Which those one's are the part- Billy Eichner? Billy Eichner's Timon. The, uh, no, who is he? He's Billy on the Street and American Horror Story. And oh, many, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no Michael Sarah. No, oh, he's probably in it. Michael Sarah's <laughs> Mustafa. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, that was fucking literally. No, um, Chiwetel Ejiofor is Scar. James Earl Jones is still Mufasa. Is he? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, Damn right. Beyonce plays Nala. Oh, Keegan God. Michael Key is in it. Alfred Woodard plays oh, Sarabi. Cool. Uh, John Kenny, who was um, the dad in Black Panther. Yeah. Eric Andre is in it. Hey, what's his name? John Oliver plays Zazu, which oh, is a great nice. one. Like, it's a good cast. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. Looking forward. And then I'm also looking forward to the fact that they're putting out ones where there's not going to be a lot of stars in it because they're not whitewashing the movies. You know, give it like three years and mm-hmm. BET's movie yeah. night is going to be rocking. <laughs> you know, right now you're just like, oh my God, they're like, there's a black guy in the background. Good enough. Yeah. You know? This movie would have been a huge deal. Oh, they've shown like this they, a lot. They show this one a lot. We've seen two of them. It's huge. Actually, uh, well, actually, no, three. Reginald Bell Johnson was in the movie for eight seconds. <laughs> How do I wonder how he That's felt true, about right? that? He probably hears Die Hard 2's coming. He's like, "Oh, they're probably gonna come back for me because like I was a big part of that one." And they're like, "Look, are you willing to basically not take off your Family Matters clothes and just do like a scene from <laughs> from Rennie Harlan's desk?" They just, they just put him in the next room over yeah. on the, off the set of uh, Family you can, Matters. You can hear the studio audience <laughs> laughing at. Did <laughs> I do that? Oh my god! If only Urkel was there. Oh my god! I love it when like eventually he like was a woman. And then he was like Stefan, and then he was. They were traveling through time, and I was like, "Oh my god! Like, All what co- is happening?" It went crazier and crazier. That thing jumped the shark like oh so, my so much god. it went through space. But then there was a period of time where they just separated, and Stefan and Steve were different people. 
he just played the two characters instead of him switching. Whoa, of because switching. like he went into like the transmogifier and they split yeah. his personalities into into two, two physical actual people. people. Whoa, the, that show was deep as fuck, man. It went crazy. Wow. Meanwhile, on Step by Step, they were just teaching the teaching the adult how to read. <laughs> It was like the one. No, it was, <laughs> yeah, it's true, right? Well, it was like the oldest. Was he in Kickboxer so, too? No, he was actually. And then he, he was arrested read. for like beating his wife up or something. He, he, yeah, that all happened. But no, he was he was like the dumb guy on the thing. But then yeah. you find out that the oldest uh, son. Uh, so like he was like the cousin or whatever. Yeah. But then he was find, like the boner. Yeah, but then you find out when he looks exactly. Yeah, like he does boner look too, like boner. But um, like look him up, growing pants, ass. boner to bone. I think he's dead too. Boner to bone. Um, but the um. But yeah, you find out the oldest son in Step by Step had uh, was dyslexic, and then like, like the the dumbest Whoa. guy in the show is the Whoa, one who geez. like recognizes. Stop doing that. I was dad. like, wow, I didn't wasn't expect- I, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. It's dude, it's everywhere. It's like me saying um. <laughs> It's like there there is a oh. remix out there for me going um, and then you go uh. um um. Um, oh um, man, that'd be awesome! Uh, 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 hotline bling. Uh, 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 uh. Somebody got footage of. I think this is a pretty old video, but somebody got footage of this guy doing this really dumb laugh. He was in the NBA, like it was a. Uh, yeah, it was. It was kind of like that. It was kind of like that. But he was in like the NBA. He was uh, like doing like a uh, NBA Finals press conference or something like that. And somebody took his laugh and remixed it to John Tesh's NBA on NBC song. So it was. <laughs> <laughs> think, think people have time to do this shit like is this I the church from skyfall it. oh my god from what the church from skyfall i'm so fucking and that man. just reminds me like that just kind of made me think i was like did skyfall like the the, the plot of land have its own private church mm-hmm. that's weird mm-hmm. huh. absolutely man you'd, you would think that uh bond wouldn't have so much premarital sex if you had a friggin like church on the property have they not figured out that these guys are like right over there they're like right next door in the barn yeah. man a lot of lights on over at that no church even fucking... that would have been amazing if that's how they noticed oh, there he is. somebody looks over there and they're like uh like oh, the old man winters is always asleep by now this is suspicious <laughs> yeah. so... usually the left window is still on because he's falling a cheap asleep with his oh. dick in his hand again <laughs> near the fire that just oh. looked like fucking was going on <laughs> Yeah, well, they, should have they were. He seduced that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then when they were banging, he strangulated, but not after he <gasps> ejaculated. Oh, do you think that was just an accidental, like uh, David Carradine? Oh, Otter, he's like, choke uh, me, choke me out, choke me out. It's another Take movie. me to the brink, baby, yeah. Bill got killed again. <laughs> oh. Take me to the edge. That's my problem, man. It's like Flatliners. <laughs> Flatline me, bitch. Yeah, flatline me. Kill me, give me a hand job, and then bring revive me. Back to me. Life. Yeah. And then when you come back, it's blood, blood, blood. <laughs> you don't want to wake up and you've already ejaculated. Yeah. This would be amazing if they tried to sell that this guy was the Dosakes guy. So like when he was sitting there, no, no, not in this, not in this movie, like oh, in okay. the Dosakes commercial. The fuck, like in the Dosakes really? commercial, he's like, I was once a military leader who was like who had to like take over a plane, and then they just Damn show clips. John McClane. They just show clips from this movie, That's and why. he's like, I've really been through it. <laughs> That's why I drink Dosakes. Dos Equios. Oh my god. Does, to you, that's the play that uh, da- that Daniel Radcliffe showed his dick in. Oh my God! Dos Equios. Dos Equios. Oh yeah, that one where you hor- he's the dirty horse fucker. Equus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to learn what that yeah. movie's about so that I can assume that he's not a horse. Fucker. No, you have to. You have to establish that bond with your horse <laughs> when you're playing the horse. That was games. mostly what War Horse was about. Secretariat. Um, <laughs> War Horse. That was a good one. I haven't seen that it one in a long about, time. Um, sea Biscuit. It was a laugh riot. Seabiscuit. I was oh, into Seabiscuit because oh, I was oh, working oh, at a racetrack when that movie came out. He was looking for his gum. Yeah. Like, Fuck a radio. He found so Hello? much. Gu- That's how the. Do thing you know where my gum out. is? Hello. I need gum. <laughs> May they. May they gum. Oh, Falcon. Mm-hmm. Yippee Kaye, Mister Falcon. I never. I never put that together. Whoa. <laughs> yep. I'm leaving. <laughs> He's outie. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. When you watch this show like years and years ago and it was on TV, they would cut out Yippie Kaye mother effer. Why would he... you cut, of all the things you say, 
I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just. I'm Come gonna on now. Allow me to censor myself. This is myself the TBS here. version. While I talk Yippee about murdering Kaye, the president. Yippee Mr. Falcon. Oh, yeah. everybody talks about murdering the president <laughs> these days. Come on. Usually not on the air. Oh yeah. But uh, we're keeping it real. <laughs> Until we go to jail. Then we'll be keeping it real there, No, too. dude, once again, I'm that selling you on? out. And then when you're in jail, I'll say, you know, it's very sad that this happened, but I had no part in it. What do you think about I, it, Jeff Garland? I think it's amazing. <laughs> Jeff Garland. <laughs> He's going to do it, too. Oh, God. You're, you're going to regret it so bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet to him when this one comes out. Like, Jeff Garland, oh are you in? Jeff Garland. <laughs> I know that. No way. You should get, like, uh, Christina Ricci or something. Yeah. Yeah. I have no need for her. She's getting. Oh, man. She's, she's like, hot. No, she's I think getting, she's hot, bro. She's getting old, and Sarah Highland has the same problem as her, where she's got a skinny body and a giant head. No way. She's Christina Ricci's way hotter. She's got a giant head. The older that Sarah Highland gets, the, the uglier she is. They just look like Bratz dolls. Bratz dolls. <laughs> big giant heads. Yeah. I'm more monster high. Yeah. So am I, because they're all over the fucking house. So that's easy. Now that it's legal, I'm going to hit monster high. <laughs> there, Roger Falcon. Falcon. Oh, I can't. Oh, look, he's got the real I ones can't in there. In, like, the reds I, and the blues. Now, I'll be honest. I have not seen this one in a long time. And. He's got a lot of cardio in I this always, one. I always skip this one. And move on. You can see the disdain on John Leguizamo's face going, I was supposed to be in this movie more. Like, he's not even standing near anybody <laughs> right? because they're like, he's so short. Oh, this is random. I know, but let me, like, what? Like, so, what, what the movies in movie land, nobody can be short. There are short people out yeah. there. It's Lots just, of them. It's hard for film, like, it's hard for, like, photography composition. It's like, you gotta do your uh, job. Yeah, it's just. Do your fucking job photography because, you know. Well, no, I'm not saying like it's. It just makes it look bad. That's not somebody's doing their job. It's just it doesn't look right. You it know, looked, it's like if you had. Uh, they were talking about this. It was uh, what's his face, uh, one of the Avengers, the uh, the British spy Avengers with Uma Thurman and what's his face and uh, Ray Fiennes there, and they were like apparently their heights are very off and they right. had to like even them out and stuff because it would look fucking weird if he had to like get up on his tippy toes to kiss Uma Thurman on the mouth and that's just how it would be Come so on. it's like otherwise you would otherwise like you know uh, Tom Cruise would always come up to every woman's chin like, he wishes <laughs> I know <laughs> naval liquor really fucking I this came movie, up to my chin once <laughs> there I came on my chin once <laughs> It was wicked. Ooh, it's it was, like, it was like a good shot. He's riding dirty. This movie has too much build for too little payoff. Way too little. Like this is this is what this is building up to here is him getting crapped crapped in the drape here. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> crapped in the drape. <laughs> Trapped in the grate. What, but Look, they, oh, he's, oh, God, my leg. I'm gonna get you didn't even switch two sounds, though. It was like, oh, I just kind of like fumbled over my things. I switched all the letters. Yeah, it's called dyslexia, like, bro. Look, look. Quick, tilt your head sideways. <laughs> See that they ruined that on the cover, man. He's looking behind him. I he does like, it all movie. I feel like those grates are not available on, uh, like, in runways. Yeah, I don't know. That's, like, what's the deal, right? I, what's the deal with that's, No, no, when, when they have to. <laughs> no, they, that's when they empty the crapper out. Yeah. They fucking oh. land the plane. They they, oh, they, they they stop it right there. They open the grate, and they it's just. A, <laughs> it's a precision dump. Yeah. You have to go by and write it that exact exactly moment. boom like a shotgun shit and the one guy's really bad at it and then the ground crew's like ah oh, steve you did it again <laughs> a big Get shit stain a big skid on the old runway oh i just had a gross <laughs> thought <laughs> imagine going to a parade but they never picked up the horse shit but at the very end of the parade there was a street sweeper that came by and it was just getting flicked flings in. shit everywhere i what wait does that for that have to do with this movie? i wait for that to happen and it, you know, at the parade, <laughs> and the street sweeper comes by, doesn't stop to just runs the shit over. That was one of those moments I just had. It was one of those like, uh, like non sequitur type things that used to like get us kicked out of class in high school. 
where it would just make us laugh so freaking out. Like it's like you think of the dumbest thing and it just make us laugh so hard that they're like, you two have to leave till yeah, you come again. Down. Well, I might as well just go home then because this ain't fucking. Well, that's I'm, it for me. I'm sorry that my teacher has hair that's sort of like Bon Jovi, but I, I assume would that when still. She kind of turns around, she's oh my scream. god! Yeah, yeah. I would still be in high school if they didn't just be like, okay, just go. Just, we'll just, give you the paper. Just get the fuck out of here. Oh man. Which is how I feel licenses are given out, by the way. <laughs> Everything. That's, that's my, how it all, it's all given out. That's my Mickey Rooney. Did you ever notice that people are getting... So that's it's getting, that's uh, Gilbert Godfrey. That little, doesn't sound like... I uh, know, but it's like it's give and take. Yeah. Right? You, yeah. You know, listen. It's like if you suspend your disbelief Uh-oh. in that you don't know what Andy Rooney sounds like, then you're fine. I said Mickey Rooney. I meant Andy Rooney. <laughs> Is this like the third plane they're about to blow up in this thing? You know what? Fuck it. I met Rooney Mara. Good. Yeah. For, from yeah. the girl. Yeah, fucking the, the girl tattoo. with all those fucking tattoos. She's not in the next one. Not night. the new one. I wouldn't either. The She's girl. on to bigger and better things. Yeah. Surprised they even went so far with this, you know? Yeah. With this one. The Fincher one wasn't that good. I was surprised. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, this is just like. I'm into torture. This one. movie was like. Uh, he had a couple good. I'll, I guarantee you, this was the idea. Yeah. Right here. This is the first idea he had, and then he built a movie around it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he's like, wouldn't it be great if they were in an airplane and they're throwing grenades and then McLean's got to eject him? You know what I mean? It blows two, up. No, two things happen. <clears throat> they're like, we want to make a second Die Hard. Where do we put it? Well, you can't yeah. put it just in another building that's boring. How about an airport? Because there's a lot going on. Yes, you're a genius. Well, then what happens? I don't know. Airplane blows up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where do you come up with this, Rennie? Mm-hmm. This is why you make the big bucks. He's like, Jesus, you think there are enough grenades in there? What? And again, like, like they're gonna take five minutes to <laughs> blow up here. And this is a horrible effect, by the way. Let's just boom, go away, boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's so bad. Ah, kind of reminds oh, me of, uh, of First Man, though. Because very exactly. Look, like, like they're not even gonna be like, ah, he's alive, to the fuck yeah. it. Little, little, just do they leave know, him. It wasn't an accident with um. In First Man, it wasn't an accident with, like, the Lunar Lander uh, simulation thing. It was people throwing grenades in it before he took yep. off in it. And nobody's going to follow this truck. Nope. They're what? all going to know he's going to even question the truck that was out there I that can't. they literally can see right yeah. now they've getting got, the fuck out of there. They've got their winter tires on. We won't, but we don't have the traction. They will go to right where he lands and then arrest him again. And he, they'd be pretty easy to find. I'm a cop. I, you, you, I literally just told this to you yeah, about an hour ago. You're the guy I was yeah, talking to. Yeah, like the same. I got yeah. the same clothes on, the same look on my face. Yeah. I know. I have more blood. I on yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick, oh, and then he yeah, pulls out yeah, a cigarette. Yeah. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah. I get it. But yeah, the other uh, thing too is when you're in, when you're a car in snow, pretty easy to follow you. Yeah. It was like, oh, just follow those tire tracks. We'll probably get right to There was a quick. thousand tires. Like, they had to do the shot a million times. They don't know how to fucking shoot in the snow. There was just one f- set of footprints in the sand. Who was it? <laughs> it's snow. <laughs> 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 I was trying to do a Jesus thing. I oh, a uh, Jesus. I was trying to bring everything to our Lord and Savior, and you just destroyed it. <laughs> so now there's no God. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Wow. Glad to be helped. Oh, he's writing another filthy sees onto something. She knows. Look, look, he's got that look in his eye. He has the look in his eye of somebody who's watching porn on his laptop. <laughs> look, he's like, no, I'm not. He's like addicted. <laughs> you know, fuck. Oh, I gotta turn on the all local channel. Oh, turn it off. Oh, they're watching the Simpsons when they go to the therapy. That's a good one. <clears throat> you can tell. You can always tell though if you don't know what studio put out a movie. Look at what they're watching on TV, and you'll yep. figure it out really fast. Fox. And you're like, oh, it's Fox. Yeah, it's a Disney movie. Where do they show this Simpsons a on now. a plane? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is a Disney movie now. You would show. Yeah, you well, like nowadays you'd be able to do that on like the, the seat back. We need TVs, to do. A, a, yo, look at this. Look at what the hell's with the toilet right there. I think they probably. The fuck was that? It looked like they covered it in plastic. Yeah. So like they're like, it's all the extras. This is not a toilet. You do not. <laughs> yeah, shit like here. what the hell? It's, you know, because Big Larry was yeah. gonna. It's probably no. It's probably. I a, had to uh, go. Like a Teamsters union. Just Dennis had Franz. To, like, clean up a. Pro- oh, yeah. What they, the fuck you want from me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking good. toilet's a toilet. <laughs> fucking shit here, fucking shit everywhere. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> Lord, fuck it up, man to man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like the kind of guy that would say that, man, <laughs> man to man. man. Yeah. Uh, 
We appreciate it. You don't need it. a loose cannon. This movie's still going. I know. Like, my God, McLean, have you solved this yet? Like, Jesus, are you yeah. supposed to be the world's greatest detective? No, he was. He's oh, not. wait, no, he's not. Yeah, for us. Sorry, that's true. Actually, we've, ne- we've, we've only seen him notice things. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, picture any scene in Sherlock where, like, you see him and he's, like, seeing and he sees the little thing and he's like, oh, this means he's been fighting with his wife and, oh, this means this Right. And that. But then it's him. It's just a blank stare <laughs> and it goes to his inner monologue and he's like, who's the black guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then he just follows them into the room. I need a cigarette. Doesn't he quit smoking? I don't know. His cigs are all wet. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have. He's running too much. There's too much cardio in the next yeah. one for him to be smoking all the time. Oh hell yeah! I'm Die trying to get three, off the butts too. I actually, uh, I think that on a overall scale, Die Hard Three is my favorite. I think so too. I agree. Die Hard 3 kicks ass. Die Hard 1 is an overall like better put together movie, and it was the first of its kind. Like sort of like it was what do you mean it was like first a, movie of action in it come on well no no but i just mean like it was like this first movie to take place in a building yes it was the first <laughs> movie to take they didn't know how to deal with yeah. non-natural light so exactly. that was the first but no like just in that kind of like absolute nobody versus the everybody's right, right. like he's a cop but one he's not versus like, all he's not like oh that's <clears throat> that's like john rambo the elite like blah blah, blah. right it's like he's like this just guy, a regular cop yeah, th- this guy takes out armies all by himself he's like that's like every arnold schwarzenegger yeah. thing is like that's what he does he goes into place he'll he'll destabilize a, go- a government by himself <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then somebody takes his daughter and it's like oh well if you knew that about him you wouldn't fuck with him and you yeah. wouldn't take his daughter and this would not be a movie but this one is like i don't know who you are you're nobody yeah. it's just and he gets the shit beat out of him for the whole movie he's an ex like navy arnold. seal yeah arnold had to take on the predator before he got a fucking bruise yeah and then he got way he took on that whole army twins. and like commando yeah. and mm-hmm. oh he was emotionally beaten up in twins yeah that's a lot to take in yeah. i thought my twin would look like me <laughs> how many times you gonna oh, fucking man. tell ya <laughs> My real twin's like Dennis Franz. Yeah, I was just going to say, they have so many options. <laughs> yeah. They have Ernie Sabella, the guy who played uh, Puma in the Sabella. original. Oh, now they're fucking around yeah. the old barn here. I think they should redo, just remake Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger still and Nathan Lane. Oh my God. Uh, how we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of musical numbers. Yeah. <clears throat> Matthew Broderick, what are you doing here? Uh. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are, like how many were how Uh-oh. many musicals were they in together? Because they did a bunch. Yeah, they once they were they were like teamed up. You know, they yeah. were they were it. Yeah. Hey they, man, if they're they, gonna pay they us the, the money. Fucking a. They were the Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker of the gay community. <laughs> no, no, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker are still their own gay. Yeah. you know, uh, counterparts. Yeah. Who would be ours? I want to be played by Bruce Valanche, and you can be played by Whippy. I had to explain who Bruce Valanche was to somebody the other day. They were like, who's that guy? And he's got like the... The mop hair and and, the... uh... But I saw a photo of him where he doesn't have a beard, so he doesn't have like the hamster Jerry Garcia look going on. How would you even know it was him? Oh, here we go. He's got the big scraggly hair on the glasses. Oh, he's fighting with Buddy outside the old thing here. This is Uh, a by-the-numbers mess. A by the numbers best. My lord. I don't know. Can any mess be by the numbers? I thought by going against yep. the numbers. Nope. If that's what you wanted to do, if you're like, we're making a mess here, stick to the numbers. Yes. Then you've done it. Sit rep. I know what that means now. You don't. Situation report. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Woo. let's check the old bins. Nothing even in there. <laughs> oh, here you go. This is the old icicle. See, I like that. Jelly goes ammo. Tending to the wounds. Poor guy. He's in this movie. Oh my more. god, you think this is like what you look at what you're doing right now for God's sake. So how the hell is there not gonna be surprises? Yeah. Oh. Like, did this whole thing have to be a twist too? Like this whole thing here? Yeah. With the bullets and like oh my my god. Yeah, quick, this movie's not long enough. We could have yeah. cut it off at 90 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Clean, but no. Exactly. But no, they gotta have this whole side plot yeah. and it's another quick thought. Why did they come in camo? What? They when they showed up, they were all wearing camo. You know yeah. where the green and brown is not going to blend in. The snow. the snow. 
Why didn't they well, just come they, in their Well, they just came from the jungle, man, from yeah. their last mission. Now they got the white gear on. They're killing predators. Yeah. yeah. But like those, the, the white gear they have on, it looks like like the white jumpsuits the painters put on. Holy fuck! This guy's in other movies where he's this exact guy. Yeah, he Come looks on. like he's, he looks like he also plays like the steroid boyfriend in like any like romantic comedy. He's like you know the girl's gonna end <laughs> totally up totally right. You know the girl's gonna end up with John with Cusack the in the end, oh. but for now he's like, oh, it's badass. And then it's gonna melt, and there's no murder weapon. Oh. She's like, what the hell is eyeball just imploded on Except itself? Except one distinct fact. Some of it won't melt because he's uh, currently in the snow. The part yeah, inside will. him will melt because... It all will. Here. The other part will just fall off. I don't know. Melt. I believe that the whole thing would actually melt. No, I think... I think you think that the nub sticking out would stay frozen? It'll, it'll like, break off and fall to the side and then it'll I think it frozen. will melt yeah. down, 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 and gone. Well... That's a, these are a pair of scientific hypotheses, and there's only one thing left to do. That's right. Murder a dude with an ice cream. Try it out. It's December. Oh, we can thank do God. It. I was going to say on each other. Well. We got two eyes. I don't know. I At least we got four chances. I'm pretty sure science. We could, we could find some hobo murder before the night's done. Hobo murder. Damn right. There's more hobos here to be murdered than ever before. Oh, Toronto's sorry. overflowed. You know what they said. When Toronto fills up with hobos, the, dead the hobos dead will run. wander the other fucking places. Yes. They'll be fucking everywhere. Cryptic. Yeah. Cri- <laughs> yeah I, I still don't understand. <laughs> Do I look white, boss? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Like, <laughs> I can still see you out there. <laughs> You are not blending in. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been the best if they were all dressed like snowmen. And they were like, It could be like in the film, The Snowman. Terrible movie. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I was sitting there and I wasn't getting, I was like, are you talking about Jack Frost? No, you were talking about the movie. The but Jack Frost is awesome. The best. Which one? Though? No, that's, that's, that's a film. I like that. In and a, the one where Michael Keaton turns into a snowman to save his family. I like the one where the other guy turns into a snowman to murder more people. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a sweet movie that, one's that way was. Better. That's almost as good as that turkey one where he wears the face. Oh, Thanksgiving. We're going to do that Thanks next Thanksgiving. Next Thanksgiving, we're doing what it. A fucking movie. That movie treats you like you are the biggest idiot ever. I That's know. my kind of movie. Specifically. Just me. like, wow. Like, are you, am I supposed like the rest to be. Of you guys, fine. But Joe, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> that movie was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was the best. But. <laughs> But I just think it's really funny because, like, you have that. Oh, they switched over to the yeah. blues. But you have that thing in theater that happens often. Why are you scratching yourself all the time? I'm itchy. I don't get it. I've got the itches. Got the itches. I've got, like, scabies. But it's like you do it herpes. so loudly. I don't it's do it alone. Loudest... I have dry skin. But it's your shirt. It's like. My shirt has dry skin. <sighs> It's like jogging in corduroy. That's every sound you make. <laughs> My thighs hurt. They're on fire. <sighs> yeah, corduroy related Quick, we fires. Have to... <laughs> it Quick. happens all over the place. We have to sneak somewhere, Todd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coughing and scratching. <laughs> <laughs> You have, you've just adopted all the sound effects of an old, old man. No, all the sound effects that John Candy does in uh, <laughs> Planes, Trains, and all. Yeah, currently. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Then there's like a... Oh, no, his snow machine. He likes the snow, Rennie Harlan. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of snow movies. Well, because he is born of snow. Yeah. He's a... He, he's a what is he? Is he Norwegian? Yeah, is he's he, something. He's, he's Scandinavian in general. Swedish, probably. But, uh... Yeah, he's de- he's definitely born of Viking and snow. This equipment could which land is why... our planes. Yeah, it's it's booby it trap. So oh, it's booby trap. There's boobies everywhere, sir. <laughs> yeah, we found boobs it like all over the place. We found it like crazy. It's so easy to find all the booby traps. <laughs> yeah, like... We didn't even try to hide them. See, they need to say booby trap more. What do you do to seal it off? It's like I guess like lock the door and then take a step back and like woo, done. Oh, now we have a uh, a chase scene. Yeah. With another snow machine. There's an ice road trucker right now. Oh, it's melting. <laughs> That's another thing he does, too. He does a lot of thing of breaking through ice and stuff like that. 
which I guess is the only option when you're driving on ice. It's like, what's dramatic? Kind of falling through it. Yeah, or almost falling through it. That was the thing. Uh, a guy falls through the ice in cliffhanger. Yep. We were doing Whoa. ice. Yeah, he's he's got a theme. but uh, Like Tarantino with the feet. I was watching, because uh, we were broadcasting at work, Ice Road Truckers. And it keeps Blah. showing them going across, and you can hear the ice constantly cracking as they're driving. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, this is going to happen. And then you see them, like, they react to the, like, oh, no. And then it goes to commercial. commercial. Of course. And it comes back, and he's like, oh, no. I forgot my wallet back at the yeah. end. Like, that all- show, dude, that fucking network should be sued. <laughs> is that yours? You should be yeah. sued. I don't want to be sued. It's everything is just Sue like, the US one. what do you call it? Like, bait and switch. Every fucking time it's a commercial break. It's like, oh my God, something's happening here. No, it is not. No, 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 no. Not even close. Oh, here they are. Rat a tat tat. But yeah, the other thing they do a lot, though, they do. Dueling. They get cameras underneath. Look at this. The How ice. are they missing each other? Like, but, look at this. Oh, he was just it's on, on two ones. wheels. Yeah, well, no wheels. There's treads. Whoa, and stuff. no wheels. But the. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, he would be like, infinitely holy dead. Christ. He would be infinitely dead. There's no way those guys aren't expert marksmen. And there's no way that they wouldn't have at least shot out the thing. Like, he'd be on the ground. Ah, it makes me so mad. There's too much, like, I'm shooting directly at you and miss. Yeah. Like, I'm fine with the, I have to get from here to here. Yeah, and run, and they're coming and behind they me. Or, yeah. But he's literally, like... That they're would be right like, there. That would be like you running straight at me. From here. And me having practiced, like, be, like being yeah. a practiced marksman. I'm not, but I'm just, like... Even if you, you know, fuck, man. Give the good gun to the dog. Yeah. He'd probably do better than these, these so-called terrorists. Yes. Now, here's my question from a character standpoint. So he does say his trademark yippee ki motherfucker in this movie as well as the last oh, one. Oh, they were shooting blanks at him. Oh. That's how I could justify it. But how I'm sure they remember? would have had real bullets shooting. Why would they yeah. have forgotten? Yeah. Because I think he does click over. But, you know, maybe they were shooting blanks. Yeah. But yeah, it's the that's the misdirect. And I totally forgot about it. And it actually, now I'm like, oh, that's actually a pretty good way to do that twist. And for him to realize, like, yep. that's like that's a good they're detective blanks. thing. They're blanks. That means that they're not actually fighting each other. That means they're actually in cahoots. Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah. So that's the end of this episode. We're not. Gonna yeah. Well, the there movie. you go. Yeah. Done. Yeah. I'll cover yeah what the fuck? Right. Spoil the end. Why it's stick got the around? Goggles on. They all got yeah. goggles. What? All Whoa! Black, all black people have goggles. You racist. No, it was all the whiteies. No, that was Vonnie Curtis Hall right when you said that. You're like, oh, <laughs> so that's why all, yeah. all those people yeah. have goggles. Those goggle heaven motherfuckers. I want to let's start a bunch <clears throat> of new like stereotypes for people. Goggles. Asian people. You know, love that's reruns. Cr- no, that's like that's so funny, <laughs> yeah. It's all the kids on uh the island, every everything was Asian. Yeah. Like, that's Asian. And I was like, that's not like, how's that? That's not even offensive. Like, yeah. what the hell? It yeah. probably did come from Asia. Yeah. yeah they've invented lots yeah, of like, things. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, they've invented, they invented math, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and the art of war. True. Just that one Through dude. Math. Look at one this dude. guy. He's like, uh, General so. taking a shit <laughs> and calling somebody, giggling. Was that, I thought I just saw uh, Clint Howard. What a dick. Oh, you wish. You wish you just saw the Howard. Yeah. He just needs to show. Oh, poor oh Mr. here we go. He's selling it. Hey, we're going live. That looks live like from the, the shitter. That looks like uh, the same news coverage from uh, Dawn of the Dead. Oh, remember the same the set. Video? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Like, what we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, can go for some bit. I love that these guys are having like a good old time. Yeah. Look at her. Yeah, we're doing it, boss. You'd think that this would be a very serious and solemn uh, kind of thing. Hanging out, handing out the gum for a job yeah. well done. Is it like Uh-oh. Mission Impossible explosion gum? Oh no, that was a good throat slit actually. Was that? That Bill was Murray? actually a good throat slit. The second guy from the left in that one. In that oh. I think was Bill Murray. He's oh. eating his gum now. That you should have at least given him the gum. I know you could have let him have at least three to four chews. Slid it in. <laughs> no slight. Slid it into his neck hole. Yeah. So at least it has a little minty flavor in there mm-hmm. for him. He's becoming better and better dressed as the movie goes. He went from naked to a suit. Did they? Why did they have to hire the one guy they had to kill? Like the rest yeah. of the team was all there, cool. Like couldn't you just hire one guy? Like the one guy that they they knew they couldn't do it. 
So well, they had to hire this guy. Why did he just well, have to kill him? Well, because these guys were probably like a legit military thing. This guy was assigned to them. They didn't hire him. Uh, yeah. And then it's like, okay, well, we're going to go do this thing. We have to bring him because it would be pretty suspicious if we right, didn't. Right, if we don't. And then, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to kill him in the end. Oh, they're getting ready to go here. There we go. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they'd let a woman say the I know, news. right? Come on. WZDC. <clears throat> Zoo crew. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing if they had Adopted zoo crews animal. do the news. It's like, welcome to your uh, six o'clock news. This is Lenny and the Fuzz. <laughs> Look at, I get that. Oh, horrible. buddy, there he is. Uh-oh. Uh, These are all the people so getting hard. drunk at the airport watching TV. <laughs> like the bar is packed. Is that Clint Howard? Like everybody's there now watching the TV there. Well, it's like, well, don't you think other people would have been doing something else? Like this airport looks dirty as fuck. No, but realistically, if if you were, because like literally no planes are getting off the ground, no planes are landing right now, so that place would be absolutely packed. What would you be doing? I'd be watching the TV. I would be probably at the bar, so I would see the yeah, TV. You would I'd see, see the, the TV. TV. Yeah, so you'd be there too. Yeah. I would be. But like, like suddenly, there's tons of people. Like what are the. the there's so many people in there that they're all standing. Yeah. and Actually, I'd probably go to all the bathrooms and try and figure out what all the foot taps mean. <laughs> they like foot tap under the <laughs> all thing. These and I'm foot like, taps. I'm like, oh, I got the blue so job on that one. system or, yeah. yeah. Does that mean I need toilet paper? I don't have a square to spare. I don't have a square to spare. Oh, this is a very convenient uh, bathroom stall. They've drilled a hole in case oh, they look, need look, me to look, pass look, Now he's going to arrest John. Oh, my God. Ah! That is dramatic. You know what? Also, wait, 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 wait. why the hell? Like, before he finished pulling that trigger, he would have had every bullet in him. Like, he wouldn't like even the, be. The, the, then he had to say, like, these. This is what yeah. they used out there. Yeah, but he wouldn't even have been like a body. There wouldn't have been a corpse there. It would have just been a pile of bullets in the shape of him standing there. Because it's like we're not going to wait for him to stop shooting and then yeah. put a bullet in him. And we're then gonna... like. Who's yeah. a Jesus that kicks my ass? He's so sweaty and he's done nothing. Well, no, he just almost died. Like, uh, just oh, like Iwo Jima. Just, yeah, the, that really that really starts to date these movies, eh? When you're sitting there and there's a guy who's like kind of young and he's like talking about like Korea. The and war. Shit. I know that's World War II, but like it's just like you start well, talking this is about. Well, the 90s, so. Yeah. No, this was 80 years. You know, they just said it's the 90s. Oh, now, no, this is 1990. Said. It came yeah. out. Yeah. 1990, this came out. Yeah. So. So 50 something years ago, that guy was in the war. I don't believe that guy was in the fucking war 50 yeah. years ago. Well, it was 44. So. 44. That still, doesn't, that still doesn't add up. Come on. Oh, panic. That guy's trying to get out of there as fast as he can. Look at him. 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 I oh, somebody a, just fell. There was a lady oh. in a big... It's, can, can I just say, because we've pointed it out a few times, it's almost exclusively been me this, yeah, this season. Yeah, it sure has. Wow. Look at those. I'm so glad that you can use your own headphones in the airports again. No, man. that's those like... Those old uh, stethoscopes are yeah, exactly. the fucking worst. It jams right in. It's Bluetooth stethoscope. It's like, like, I mean, come on. It should not be used for something else. You should be able to listen to the radio or some shit on there. It's like having two like garden gnome penises in your ear at the same time. <laughs> they could have... Oh, my God, lady. Jesus. This is Black Friday for yes. you. It's not even... <laughs> <laughs> He's leading the way. I'm gonna get that cabbage patch kid. Fuck you! I don't give a fuck. I got a gun. Tamagotchi, motherfucker! <laughs> I know that's a little before the time, but Black Friday is Black Friday in the uh, states, man. Like what the fuck? I have my favorite Black Friday thing now: online shopping. Online. Exact... Oh, look, that's his brother. The exact same. Of course, thing. it is. I, I'm kind of glad oh, they did that. This is them. They're out. What the fuck? They're out for the movie now. Boom, done. I gotta crack my neck. Well, I guess we're not solving any crimes today. <laughs> Every fucking time. This is one of those things, because like, these guys are all acting like they're New York cops, and that would start to make sense, because it's like every look, family. Look, 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 like he's a... like raping the, the taxi. Like, I'm going to fuck it off of us, brother. <laughs> yeah. I like that he, like, could you imagine picking out a person you know? And this in fracas, giant, yeah, like, that well, yeah. Is, well, hopefully, it'd be the person you know has a giant camera and some lights pointed at them. And but some, still, uh, so many people running in front of your face. That would be like finding Waldo in a picture where they forgot to draw Waldo. That's oh my just god! Like, I, I know that one. They're yeah. all that one. The fuckers <laughs> trying to trick me. I know he's not in there. I like. Ah, uh, get to use the old lady's taser. It's a good thing he's sitting on the toilet because he just shit. Oh. 
dick. Uh oh, look, look, look. She's gonna pee on him. That would have been amazing. I like that. That you could tell uh, they hired that girl as the uh, flight attendant because that's her role. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna be supportive of the people who get back at the jerks. She's, yeah, she's yeah. got that. She has that way to go face. Yeah, like way I can't go, do honey. this, but way to go. Oh, here's the get setting up the last seat. A lot of planes going yeah. on in this movie. I feel like this was like the unveiling of like a new plane like this is the boeing airbus yeah. and nobody's ever seen it before like mario 3 in the wizard oh god. <laughs> like, what a reveal like my god good god let's do it that should have been again. it seems like it was right it's like we've already seen a lot of planes this movie yeah. so like that that was not that impressive yeah yeah great another plane cool yeah does this one hold people and take off into the air too i'm telling like you it. if you would have done your job the first piece of research you would have found <laughs> is how much the budget on fake snow was in this thing. I'm so, I I felt. I think it's so like half guilty. the budget. I've been so busy and I felt so guilty that I didn't get the research you done for this one. You should feel even guiltier and then than you, made you me actually feel, feel. So much better when you were like, "Don't worry about it. We'll just we'll just riff. We'll just go." And then, you, and then... <laughs> throw you right under the plane wheels, bro. Right yeah, under the I'm wheels, stu- that fucker. <laughs> I, I'm grucking that straight. <laughs> Gruck that straight, bro. Gruck it. While the, while the it wheels up. are coming at me. <laughs> I feel like no. Nighttime I, news. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. They're not good enough for the daytime. Daytime news has a minivan. Yeah. We can't see much from the <laughs> chopper up here. It's pretty dark. This is nighttime news. <laughs> <laughs> they turned off all the lights on the yeah. air, on the thing. So there's the nothing. Fuck are we? I'll pause the way we come up here. Yep. But pretty, here we are. Pretty sure we can't land. Oh, that guy's in on it because he's got gum. He's got gum. Oh, yep. Imagine that was a thing. Like, that's that was, it. That's how you, that's the tell. That's how you like pick out the conspiracy. I knew that people that chewed gums were fucking evil. Mm-hmm. That looked like. I oh, didn't... smoking on the plane. Yeah, it's oh, the nineties. All right. Look at that. That guy's got a weird face. He's got a big pointy chin and his nose is weird. <laughs> Fuck. I Which love, guy you looking at? I love that? body shaming assholes. Body <laughs> shaming. Uh, it was just the one guy who like, the guy who like did, gave the bro handshake to the guy in the fatigues. <laughs> the bro. You know the bro. We did it. Yeah, we bro, was, we bro shake all the fucking day long. Yeah. My biggest experience with meeting people that knew my father was they all bro shake me. <laughs> they would all bro shake my hand, but I was like six years old. It was like, hey, this is my friend Fred. Oh, nice to meet you. He's like, yeah, like bros for life. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> bros that, for life. I'm six. I don't. I don't want it. I don't. The old want biker in man life. down the hall at me touches old ladies. That titty. looks like fat Giovanni Ribisi. Where did Cole Meany go? Did he blow? Oh, I think he I was on up. that one. That I think he blew up. up. He's blown up a long time. That's ago. the problem is because you have no interaction between him and who's on that plane. So then I don't know what plane he's on. I'm like, is he the pilot on Bonnie Bedelia's plane? All of these. <laughs> yeah, violin. All of Bonnie these. Bonnie Bedelia. Uh, yeah, that's her. There she is. I could say Holly McLean. It's easier to say. But oh I no, I like I Bedelia. I like every time it shows the airplanes like flying through the sky. It always looks like Airplane Two. Like when it's like you see the fin coming up through the uh, clouds doing oh, yeah, like the Jaws dead. thing. Because it just oh, looks there he is, like, to the sea. it just looks like somebody's holding up like a model airplane, and then they're just like blowing. Oh, look, fog like, over like it. now he's like freaking because he thinks they're gonna crash. Yeah. Hmm. Again, another, <laughs> another thing in a post nine eleven world. Is that what you how you when you wake up? Who would get? Is that how you wake up after being tased? You're all Ugh. probably. Yeah, it's probably I, like I, I after feel you feel like your that wisdom would, teeth in or something. I feel you know, like whacked you'd be a out. Disorientating. Well, that's the thing in Canada though. What? You didn't get all walked out on this shit. I did. I was did whacked you? out, bro. Really? Oh, I got put. Oh, maybe did they you said get put under. Did. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I didn't get put oh, under. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a tough guy. I didn't want to get strapped me in. I ma- I gave made them give me an injection that made it hurt more. Yeah. No, I, they just. Gave you me watch up. that scene from Twelve Monkeys where he cuts his own teeth. And you're like, oh, bring it on! And then they show you a little shop of horrors, yeah. and then. Well, it yeah. was. I was genuinely scared because way too much information. When I had, I had a vasectomy. And when they gave me the local, it didn't take. So I felt when they cut my oh, scrotum God. open. And I felt when they snipped the first, like, when they clamped the first uh, vas deferens. So I felt all that, and it was Dear very painful. Lord. And so they stopped. And then they sewed me back up. And then they were like, okay, we're going to have to put you out for this. But they couldn't do it that day. They have to book it for Oh, day. my God. So, well, well, Did you have a good whack when you got home? No, you, you uh, have a good no, one. Rip you the have to, seal open. No, you have to go through the entire, the exact same healing process as if I had, as if I had the whole How thing long? done. Three weeks. 
Oh man. And then I had and then and then <laughs> that a couple sounds fucking terrible. It was the worst. And then I'll tell you the first time when something's about to come out of it, you don't know what's coming out. You oh, assume it's a sandworm. Like it's like uh, 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 <laughs> That was all right. <laughs> that was all right, eh? No, because it's too scary to enjoy. It. Like, what the hell is happening here? And then, and then after that, you like, a couple okay. of fish hooks attached to an old yeah. wooden spoon. Like, I just picture like like any Tim Burton and it like yeah. claymation is gonna come <laughs> flying out of here. <laughs> I want to. I like that. I want to picture that one piece of sculpture that was moving around the big rock one. Yeah, it's kind of pulling himself along like a worm. Yeah, I was thinking like Beetlejuice's face on the like when it, the banister turns to the snake. Oh right, we gotta come for your daughter, Chuck. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> oh, here he comes. You know the what big, you don't the big do? Big setup right here. The big handling, last scene, fighting yeah, on the wing of a plane. When you're handling a giant door, I'm just gonna hold onto this gun and use it to help me push. Oh, he's got the red ones in. And you know what I feel like what happened? He could literally shoot him right now. Well, and based on the importance of this guy, if this guy is such a great military leader, I feel like he'd just spray the area and then take out both guys yeah. and be like, well, yeah. his loss was a sacrifice. Done. The, literally like, the only thing stopping them right now yeah. is these two fucking dudes fighting on the wing. Yeah. Plug them both. And by the way, you're calling me out on not having the research is less throwing me under the wheel of this plane and more throwing me into that engine. <laughs> <laughs> Like a goose that takes the whole thing down. I like that he only ever takes the blood up, the ooh, ch- up ooh. to the cheek. Like his face never has blood. It's all up the neck it's up and then the, it stops. Yeah. It's like you stop at oh, my jawline. You don't go an inch oh, further. Oh, shit. That would be horrifying. Yes, what is he holding on to? Whoa. I feel like way more. Like that should have been like. Like a like a month, just stuff spraying Spray- out of there. Cause <laughs> a like, month, because like the, even there's just little bits. Oh, uh, the uh, now he's gonna. Oh, he's like, no, nope, putting the gun down, coming out. Yeah. Oh, too many, too many steps to dump all the fuel out of the plane. Is it really on the wing? But now he's. A, oh, I guess it would be. I don't know why there's a fuel time dump. for the main event. Oh man! And for some reason, That's he didn't cheap. have enough time to kick it open. He had to wait for Buddy to jump down, and run over. Yeah. I've never been on a plane that was taxiing the runway so long that people had time to have two fights on the wing. <laughs> two fist fights on the wing. Let's they only just... had time for one last time I was there. Boom. <laughs> uh, this is Kevin speaking. Uh, we're just going to take a little extra time here because there's a karate fight happening on the wing. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we see that this is just a henchman and the main guy's waiting in the wings, literally. Uh, so we're going to have to. It may, it may take a little longer depending on the results of this fight. Uh, in the meantime, read your in-flight magazine and sign up for your for your free Wi-Fi. <laughs> for your free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> is that a gremlin on the wing it's two guys rumbling <laughs> that would be that would be a really the funny man, thing john mcclain is fighting a gremlin somebody's just on, on the a wing plane. of a plane like that would be like a new like uh, spoof like hot shots or something yeah. like that the guy's got the thing down he's going up and you think you're gonna do oh there's a gremlin on the plane but it's, but it's literally fighting fight yeah in, like and it's just really bad green screen where it's just <laughs> it's on the other side totally it's like awesome <laughs> William Sadler and Bruce Willis are, are fighting rumbling. on the plane. Then Bonnie Bedelia comes from the other side and just shows her taser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got some casting. That's a new here. GIF, bro. I can't call it a GIF. You can't make me. Uh, they don't know that they're losing fuel like crazy. That'd be fine. Uh-uh. Russian guy's driving, too. That... Oh, you're off the runway. How are you even going to take off? Did they myth bust this? Probably. Like the they myth busted the everything. The... Like, it's not even a myth. It's in a fucking movie. Yeah. Do you make sense? Those, no, but in fairness, those are the ones I like the most. Like, the movie ones. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Like, like the myth would be like, does a stitch in time save nine? Me- We're going to find out by doing a really good stitch and then doing nine shitty ones. Yeah. But like the, uh, but like when they did, like they did the Simpsons. It was amazing where they did, they recreated the, uh, the wrecking ball. Would Homer's body stop the wrecking oh, ball from right. destroying a house? And what other ones did they did a bunch? So they built a giant Homer body and put it on a wrecking ball and swung it against a wall, and it was like great. Oh, oh there they go, Mecca like a high, Mecca honey ho. Nice. That's what you should say instead of yippee ki yay. <laughs> oh, you're all dead. Today I said in hibbity dibbity. Somebody. Oh. <laughs> We just saw the close <laughs> caption of "Whoa!" See, after I said it first, once again, that well, they caught that part. 
I love how much he laughs at murder. Like I'm glad he's happy he survived. Yeah, but uh-huh. he's but he should be laughing just that he got. Oh, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just screaming like, her name. Like realistically, he should be just as happy if they got away. He's like, oh my god, I got out of this with my life, and my wife's yeah. gonna be okay because they're no Thank longer. Thank God, that thing's on fire here because we never make it. Mm-hmm. We're Don't. out of fuel. We gotta come down. Ooh, Catholics. <laughs> I see it. I see it. It looks like a dick and balls made of fire. <laughs> It does. That's a serious line. See, again, like line it's... Line of fire there. In the line of fire. We've been talking about... Oh, my God. In everything, the line. Everything comes back. Damn right it does. Just quick land on that fire. That's a thing planes do. And then drive... It's landing near the fire. It would be Boom, amazing if it that ran... that one blows up. It'd be amazing if it ran over him. He was laying there. He was like... <laughs> 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 yeah. Half, he's still Done. Laying, he's just a pile of guts underneath. And he lights a smoke up. Uh, I already know. You know what? If they can do it, so can we. Well, here's my thinking. Like, look how close together they are. I know, they like, are. they are really coming in here. Like, this would be like if you were, like, on a water-landed plane, and then they're like, look, look we're right saying. over a pile of ass. <laughs> they're all They all have landed. to land like this. They're all going to smash, like, ass, you know? Yeah. Like, rear-end each other. Those viral videos of, like, news footage of just watching car after car smack into each other on an icy road. Boom. He's gonna look in the rear view mirror. Oh shit. Boom. That's the worst. I got rid oh, when I got See this right here? They got to do it. this. But I didn't I know. though. This would be fun. I didn't get to do this on the new boat. No. The Peely Islander too. Look, here he comes. Oh, there's like a like a tornado of Oh my god. Is this shark native? It's like a real plane coming in with a fire there. Like, That's really oh. cool. That looks neat, eh? That is very cool. <clears throat> That's the best effect in the whole yep. movie, and it was an accident. I think it was totally unintentional as well. Yeah. Yeah, they probably were just like way that was because the tur that whew, went through it. Oh, that was neat. Because little tornado. That's cool. It's like it, the first time ever a plane blew a smoke ring. It looked like uh, looked like what's his name there from uh, Fantastic Four, Galactus. Oh, the real Galactus, a yeah. swirling cloud, anger cloud. Yeah, I your city. Galactus, <laughs> your cloud. The clouds don't need anything. <laughs> Disagree. Oh, we're all so oh, happy. Yeah, that's this. It's another so thing too. Happy. Him being an air traffic controller or whatever the hell he is, like, was he? He would he have been allowed to like leave air traffic control to help dude on his adventures? Yes. Like, would you not think all the of planes, these planes aren't are, allowed to come down? He's got they're paying him, but all the more reason because they're all just flying around up there, and their main job is to keep them from smacking into each other because they can't see each other from most angles. Oh, Betray you. There should have been like the lots of all the lots of people walking past too, right? Yeah. Oh, you better enjoy the moment, lady, because you're gonna everybody... be divorced by the next one. Look, lady, you're holding up the line. Get down. Oh my lord. Is he doing that because he's injured or cold? Uh... <laughs> Uh, he he Gee. he reacted with the same amount of brain damage that Rocky did. <laughs> Here's a blanket. I don't want to be the blanket firefighter anymore. I want to be the calendar firefighter. Yeah, what the Lose hell? Lose some weight, you tubby prick. <laughs> oh yeah, Christmas is over. There were. I heard that. That would have been the best. That would have been way better. If he was just clean, like nothing had happened to him. Is Casey Affleck? She probably. There he is, look. Oh, my God. Oh, now it just looks like him. Now it looks like... It's uh, Gallagher, too. Yeah, Gallagher mixed with... Uh, sw- what's his name? Sw- uh, s- Ron Jeremy? Yes. <laughs> the guy who was in all the Adam Sandler movies. Oh. Nick Swardson. Oh, there you go. Okay. Man. Oh, they did it. They made it. Must be hard in Hollywood. This is us. This is me and Joe after every episode we do. It's like, we did it. I I want to stumble around with Joe. If I lived on the one side where his ferry landed, (laughs) I would do that literally every time you got off. Like, you'd be like, Todd, I'm at work. Fuck off. Todd, why are you bleeding again? Yeah. Did you cut yourself shaving for the fifth time today? Shaving your head. It's a head wound. I don't know if I've ever... T- I think I've told the story on here where I... Sh- like, when I was still early into shaving my head, 
Um, I took a girl out on a date, and I had when I first shaved my head. I, had this oh, little I think nub, so. And I shaved it was like it, bleeding like and it crazy. It was bleeding like crazy. But when I picked the girl up, she sat to the right of me. But then when we got out, we went to the movie and we went to the other side of each other. And she just looked at me and went like, "Ew," because I had blood all down the side of my face, like dried blood. <laughs> That's wicked. Yeah, ladies, some ladies aren't into the crimson mask, bro, and some are. Yeah. I know girls that have been on you. Sucked. I, um, it would yeah. have been on you. There's some, yeah, some dates I blade. Oh, like, yeah. I blade. I go down, I like bump, I accidentally bump into somebody, I cut They're my like, forehead. Ooh, I love like, a guy oh. who bleeds a lot out of his forehead. It'd be amazing. Ooh. God, even the font of this movie is, at, is like made by assholes. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this. That's like a fucking like. Uh, that's like uh, if, if, you, if you did a resume in this font, Charles you would not Grodin. get the job. Oliver Wood. Hey, that's the captain of the Gryffindor Quidditch team. Good times. Gryffindorf. Yeah. Not Gryffindorf. Although that would be good too. Dorf on Quidditch. Tim Conway, get Dorf on Dorf on Quidditch. Get on it. It's just him with like a thing between the uh, broom between his legs. And it's just constantly him like acting like, whoa, I've got a big day. But <laughs> not the size of my that. cock. But never saying that. Never like alluding. He's like, whoa, he's like, I'm going to have to get new pants. <laughs> just stuff like that you know i, I don't know stuff i don't like i don't know what dwarf that. does it falls <laughs> i assume he falls over a lot yeah i think so too It'll be a thing. i've literally never seen any dwarfs reginald vell johnson is so high ranked in this credit that it he's is, a returning he's, star you no know, he's ranked higher than william sadler and john amos and, and william movie, sadler got naked and, and showed his balls and dennis off. franz He's, he's higher than all of them, and he has, like, three lines. You have and to. And one of them is just staring and at... Even when Dennis Franz is the uh, star of something, you put his name 12 so that he freaks. He's Fred, like, what the fuck? I was in the whole fucking movie. So you can hear him freak out while he smokes during the movie. You come over here. We're going to have a talk man to man. I don't know why that tickled me so, but it did. Don Henley. <laughs> I was going to say Steve Harvey. Yeah. So we both... There you go. Got, Split we the difference, right? <laughs> Based upon the novel, 58 minutes. See, the novel only oh, takes you 58 minutes to read. And look this at this is, fucking thing. Uh, yeah. I think that this was the same <clears throat> as, like, the guy who wrote the uh, the first, like, the Die Hard movie. Like, the original Die Hard. Right. And it was supposed to be, and I think Commando was a part of that or something like that. I can't remember the exact uh, situation. But, like, originally it was, like, the same character or something. It's, like, the same in the books, Commando and uh, right. the same character. And they were going to make this, that, the sequel and stuff. So then this would just be the sequel to that, I guess. Huh. Good time. Double sequel. Double sequel. Threequel, baby. The threequel. The first ever trilogy, right? No. <laughs> uh, that would not be accurate. That would not be accurate. I always love that they have to do this. Mm. Events. Characters. I thought this was based on true events. Yeah. It's, it's disheartening to see this. I want to know. I need to know the exact scenario that made this have to happen. Because you know that somebody had to sue because, like, they made a character named, like, Rick, you know, like, Rick Smith. And he, like, murdered somebody. He was like, you saying I'm a murderer? Yeah. Because that character's... No, because that's Rick Smith. It's just that's the character, guy. yeah. He's like, yeah, but that's my name. So you're telling everybody I'm a murderer. Fine, if we put something in there saying you're not a murderer. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kind of. Like, now, if you excuse You need me, to gotta... say Rick is not yeah, a murderer. Yeah. If you excuse me, if Dennis Franz wants to talk to me man to man. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. You know, I like that because nobody believed that this was not a real story. Yeah. So not even at the end of the credits. Usually it says that at the end. Pardon me. I thought the credits were done. Based I know on... I didn't see that symbol, you know, after the thing. But it's like, you know, this is because people are like, man, this is a true story. I can't believe this really happened. And they're like, oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah. I, I, and then you got like people who are just like compulsive liars. It's like, yeah, no, it was a true story. I was at that airport that day when all, <laughs> yeah. they were all blowing up. Yeah, of course. Right? There's always that fucking person. My... I was there. It's my my uh, <clears throat> my fucking cousin Scoots was the guy who was the lighting them all on fire and shit. My cousin Scoots. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. It's special effects. Plain model guy. Remember when special effects only took two seconds to get yeah, across that, the Yeah, that like credits? that. Now like watch Black Panther. It's like oh, it's like an entire country. Yeah, you were and then uh, like you want to almost accuse everybody of not being in the movie. Oh, like Michael, clock, Michael like. B. Jordan is like you didn't even see, you never even met friggin' uh, 
what's his face t'challa there i can't even remember oh industrial light magic chadwick boseman yeah well they were the only game in town and it was not a good job just fyi no eh? michael he spelled his name i'm i think you saying that or is that for real what I know, I just don't believe they did a very good job on the special. Oh, this I movie. thought you said if you worked at ILM back in the days, like it wasn't a good job to have. Oh no, I, like you heard something. No, I'm sure the it was the, you know? sure it was like, the dream. It was Star Wars. Ah, Lucas is probably fucked. It was fucking Howard the Duck. Oh yeah, well yeah. come on, the man. I didn't say the man wasn't a genius. Yeah, but he was probably hell to work with. All these yeah. directors are. All they yeah. they want you to kill yourselves for the role. In fairness, he seemed to be the only one killing himself. Yeah. Everybody was shitting no, I see on him. The, yeah, he, was kind, he was kind of the bullied nerd, it seemed like. Yeah, well, Because you hear the stories, like, you hear, like, uh, Carrie Fisher used to say, like, who talks like this? Could you imagine, like, writing a script and getting it made, and then the actor's just coming, and he's like, like this was even... written by a retarded person. <laughs> like, sorry, I, I used the R word. But it was yeah. like, but it... it it was needed in that particular situation. It was. But it they was... say that to him all the time. Yeah. He was... still is a, a bully nerdo. No amount of money is going to stop that. Yeah, exactly. I fucking tell ya. I want to know what he's doing with it. With that money? He's recutting Star Wars over and over and over yeah. again. I'm gonna. I'm remaking the Last Jedi with yeah. just Star Wars stuff. I think we more Jar Jar. I think we've talked about it before, but I'm still not entirely sure whether or not he was just trolling or not. But they basically asked him what his episodes seven, eight, nine were going to be about, and he said it was not going to be a direct sequel to the other movies. It was going to be all about like the world of the midichlorians. Really? He's like, so there would be no Luke Skywalker. There'd be no whatever and there he's like it was just gonna be all about like you'd be in the tiny world of the midichlorians and what they're doing and like what they're all about and then like that sounds awful but then at the same time you've heard stories of like luke still have uh, luke mark hamill having like dinner meetings back in the 80s with him talking about seven eight nine and stuff like that so i'm like i feel like he's just fucking with people because right. it's like he's like it's out of my hands now and they're like what would the worst answer yeah. be because people hated the mid the idea of the midichlorians yeah. in episode yeah. one but at the same time i'm like he came up with that idea after he had those dinner meetings with Mark right. and stuff like that and then he's probably like i think i'm fucking nailing this i think seven eight nine is gonna live in this world because people are really gonna be asking it'll that be like question. the dozers in uh fraggle rock yeah. It'll be like what they're up to. It's gonna be the one. It's gonna be. So all wait, the so what are the Metaclorians like? These little things that actually are the Force. I prefer the idea of it just they being live. like you know the Force. Yeah. Rather than it's actually these little it's amoebas like a that are uh, yeah a spirituality. Yeah, if exactly. You, know, what, if you become one with the world. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like these things. It's like yeah, I don't know. Which it's. Yeah, they they shouldn't have given it a name. They should have just called it the, the they would force. Have just said the force and stayed. Well, that's kind of what they went and tried to do in, in the you know when they're burning the books movie. and yeah. like the last Jedi. They say like this is actually something you believe in. It's not yeah. a it's not a thing. It's, it's not a tangible. Yeah, you don't need the books. You know another way that the fucking the last Jedi got it right. They damn right. Jesus fucking I, Russians, eh? I can't Those wait till fucking we, Russians. I can't wait till we get to those movies it's gonna be so long because we're doing the prequels oh my oh god we're doing it no don't do this to me we're doing it i hey we're going to talk about the stuff that was good in them and the stuff that was bad in (laughs) them damn right we are we're gonna go through part two and we're just gonna turn my chair around we're just gonna dick punch each other for all of episode two Um, can we just watch mario brothers again we're going to that's gonna also be a thing (laughs) we're gonna every year we should do watch it till we get it right yeah which will never happen. It's never going to happen. One of us is going to get cancer. Yeah. This is going to be from like the deathbed. And then, right, and then we <laughs> announce it's, time. it's never going to happen. Time. And we're like, we're finally done. And it's like, whoa, I feel better. And you like literally watch a tumor <laughs> jump out of you. All right. This cancer gone. Cancer gone. All right. This has been a particularly long episode. So I, I agree. Let's go to as... bed. I got to get up early tomorrow and do some shit. I know. I'll race you. <laughs> Yeah. I've still, got, I've still got to get the episode out for oh, tomorrow. Oh, Lord, bro. And then I've got to go that to bed. That is terrifying. And then I've got a potty trained boy. Just wait until it fucking... Uh, I tell you right now, I will. I refuse to learn. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to sit you on the potty every 30 minutes life. until you get it right. Huh. All right, guys. As always, uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. 
uh, all these good things. These are all great things, and we want you to do them. Great. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. Make sure to comment. Uh, like rate us on uh you know apple podcasts and stuff like that these things help us get seen they put us on lists and uh, not the usual lists we get put on <laughs> uh like yeah. positive lists yeah like good ones uh, so you know do that uh you know it doesn't take long no nope. as far as i know i don't know how computers work but um witchcraft i'm yeah i'm i'm told i'm told you uh you yell, you yell something to the email number, and then it's on there. There you go. And then, it, and then That's it's it. yeah, and then it's internet. I'm already yelling anyways. I might it's as well internet. yell it towards the computer. Yeah. yeah. So do all those things. Uh, we will see you guys again next week. We're going to announce the uh, rest of the lineup for the month. And trust me, we have the next movie. Not a movie. It's a special. Whoa. And it's going to be a fucking doozy. Oh, yeah. I'm I jazzed. I'm j- I Did I say jazzed? I meant jizzed. You're going to be. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Later. This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.